whole tea double. This is the Bay Area Wine and Epicurean Auction. Discover new horizons, celebrate hidden treasures, embrace your dreams, and bid to win. KRCV's Bay Area Wine and Epicurean Auction is made possible by viewers like you. And the auction is a benefit for KRCV North Bay Public Media. Keep a close eye on the purple, orange, and green board items, as well as the nightly bronze bonus items and blue board items. These items move fast and will sell out by the end of the night. Gold and silver items are premium packages and are up for bidding through the close of Sunday night. Platinum items are deluxe once-in-a-lifetime experiences, and our showcase items are special packages you can't find anywhere else. These items close out on the last night of the travel and wine auction. Remember, auction bids are raised in specific increments. Phone volunteers are standing by to answer questions and help you make your bid now. When you call, provide the auction item name and corresponding four-digit item number so the volunteers can quickly place your bid. Your winning bid supports KRCB's quality educational programming, where you have the best seat in the house for great performances in music, the very best in drama, science, nature, and history, and Public television is home of acclaimed children's programming that teaches and entertains. Go to krcb.org to learn all about KRCB North Bay Public Media and to check out additional auction items. The Bay Area Wine and Epicurean Auction. Get ready to bid, win, and save. Welcome to KRCB's <laughs> Bay Area Wine and Epicurean Auction. You are in for a treat for the next few hours. Um, we have all kinds of great stuff. This is an auction that benefits KRCB Public Media. Yes, and it does. I'm, my name is Chris. By the way, yes, that's Stan. Chris and I'm Stan. Yes. And we'll be with you all through the night till 11 o'clock tonight with some incredible, beautiful deals for you. And uh, we're going to tell you a little bit about how you play the game, because this is one of those uh, pro programs you just don't sit on the couch and watch. You actually have to play along and make some amazing deals on some wonderful wine and Epicurean delights. So let's see. Let's go through it. Uh, when you want to bid on an item, you make sure that you know what the item number is. That's very important. And when you call in, call in 1-800-287-2722, or you can go online and you can bid at krcb.org KRCB backslash auction to make your bid. And there should be that thing right across us here pretty soon, so you'll see that. Yes. Uh, opening bid prices on the auction studio boards, which are the ones that we actually shoot live here in the studio. Uh, the opening bid prices are in red, and then the current bid, and if it isn't yours, call in, is in blue. Our opening bid prices on the luxury <clears throat> item videos, and we have some fabulous luxury item videos. Oh yeah. Um, at luxury items, the boards are in uh, the boards are in yellow when it's an opening bid, and the current bid is in white. Keep that in mind. So the uh, bid increments, how much you have to bid in order to get your bid in there, <coughs> is uh, ten dollars for the studio boards, which are the ones that we shoot here live, and uh, those are the purple, orange, and green boards. And then the larger items are well, we'll tell you about them, but it's a hundred dollars for the platinum boards and $75 for the golden showcase boards. Our people who are uh, answering the phones will also have that information for you when you call in. So you don't have to memorize this right now. You don't have to memorize it. And the best thing is we have live volunteers here manning the, manning the phone boards. Thank you volunteers and sponsors for being here. And they will answer your questions, help you bid, uh, let you know in more detail about auction items. Yeah. And always you can go online again, krcb.org to get more inf information on auction items before you bid. And we have some people to thank before we get started with the bidding right now, and that is we have uh, Canine Companions. These are wonderful volunteers. They do great work here in Sonoma County. Uh, Fast Signs of Santa Rosa and Petaluma. Flavor Bistro, that's feeding us tonight. Uh, Cabo, Cabo or Cabot? Cabot Creamery, and uh, North Bay Leadership Council. We want to thank all of you folks for volunteering and making the auction possible. And now, Chris is going to get started. Take it away. Thank you very much. Now we're going to start with the Platinum Board, and the Platinum Board is, at, we have fabulous items on the Platinum Board. The Platinum Board is one of those one of those boards that has the luxury items. This is from Guy Buffet Productions, valued at $3,100, current bid $13.50. Oh, 
Guy Buffet takes the observer into his work both visually and emotionally. His intention is to create a moment where one can rediscover the beauty and gaiety of life. A Gathering of Connoisseurs is a hand-pulled lithograph and was printed by Arts Litho in Paris. The image is 21 inches by 31 inches. It is a printer's proof with remark numbered 2 of 10 and is signed by the artist. The lithograph is matted in beige linen and has an intricate gold-colored frame. With frame, it measures 35 and a half inches high by 45 inches wide. A certificate of addition is included, must be picked up at KRCB in Rohner Park, not available for shipping. That is item number 7031, valued at $3,100. Looking for an opening bid on that of $1,350. A gathering of connoisseurs framed lithograph with remarks. Absolutely stunning. Again, the image size is 21 inches by 31 inches, and it's a printer's proof with remark numbered 2 of 10, and it's signed by the artist. So as we go through the evening and the weekend, keep this item in mind. We're going to move quickly to the gold board. We have our very own Larry Van Alst, KRN Radio, is here to do the gold board for us. Larry, so what do we have going on? Well, thanks, Chris. Uh, we're always happy to be here. And what we have going on is the gold board, which closes on Sunday. So you have a little bit of time, but it's always a good idea to get your bids in early, especially when you go to krcb.org. There are a few tricks you can do there to make sure that if there's a prize that you really want to win, there's a lot that you really want. You can make sure that you get it, primarily by bidding high enough. <laughs> you know how that works. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the uh, gold board to start out with here. This is the, we'll see it a couple of times tonight. Let's, let's look at item number 7006, Trinchero Family Estates in St. Helena. It's bocce wine, food, and friends, and it's for eight people. This is one of those great lots where you can bring a group of people, whether they're your colleagues at work or in your medical office or your probation officer and everybody else involved, whoever it happens to be, you can bring them up there and make good friends with them. Uh, you're going to be um, uh, at Trinchero whenever you choose. It has a value of $1,600. The uh, winery was built in honor of Italian immigrants, Mario and Mary Trinchero. It's unique in Napa Valley, and it is definitely a gem. Their wine and food center is normally limited to industry professionals, but the family will open their doors to eight guests for a great day of fun. If you like bocce, definitely good fun. You're going to enjoy a, an array of world-class wines from the Trinchero Estates and their wine cellar, a seasonal lunch prepared by their chefs, uh, and they're featuring the best local farmers, bocce ball on their private course, and a surprise guest for each of the guests. Guests, you may uh, reserve for a Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday only. August, September, and October are excluded. That's item number 7006 uh, for eight people, bocce, wine, food, friends, and a special gift. Gift. Currently, the bid on that is $775. has a value of $1,600. Let's take a, a look at the next item. It's item number 7030. It's Guy Buffet, once again. Uh, from productions in Rio Vista, Café de Fleurs, uh, framed Gisli. Uh, it is valued at twenty or two thousand and forty dollars. Uh, currently, an eight hundred and fifty dollar bid on that. Uh, he takes Guy takes uh, the observer into his work both visually uh, and emotionally, creating a point where there where one can rediscover the beauty and gaiety of life. Café de Fleurs is on canvas. The printing was done uh, by Molly Geesley and Bay Lab. The image size is 24 by 30 inches. It's numbered one of 300 and it is signed by the artist. Café de Fleurs is matted, sand colored linen, has wood grain with black frame. Uh, the frame measures 37 by 48 inches. A certificate of edition is included. It must be picked up at KRCB in Rohnert Park, and it's not available for shipping. That's item number 7030, a value of $2,040. Currently, we're looking for $850 to get this one open. Let's take a look at the next item. It's item number 7072, Beachcomber, Beachcomber Hotels in Mendocino County. 
you get a midweek, uh, eight midweek nights uh, in the three hotels. It's for two people in one of the three hotels. A four-night stay at the Beachcomber Motel and Spa on the beach. It's eco-friendly. Uh, values protecting uh, nature and the environment. Your guest room features an array of amenities, including epic vistas of the North Coast from your private deck, wind down to the soothing, rhythmic roar of the Pacific Ocean. You also get two nights stay at the Surf and Sand Lodge. It's an intimate lodge located just steps from the beach. You have patios, plush amenities. Uh, two nights in the Beach House Inn. The Beach House Inn provides peaceful views from your private balcony overlooking Pudding Creek Estuary. All stays are valid for king rooms or two queens, valid Sunday through Thursday until May 1st, 2018. You have plenty of time to decide. It's item number 7072, a value of $1,272. Currently, we have a bid of $1,000 on that. Uh, once again, item number 7032, the next item is Guy Buffet. And it's wine tasting. It's a framed lithograph. I think we'll see a picture of that in just a second. He has been the official artist for the Perrier Jouet Museum in Paris and has received several commissions from the Hawaii State Foundation on Culture and the Arts. Wine tasting is numbered 441 of 500. It has a beautiful black and gold frame with white linen matting. It measures 31 inches by 47 inches and it is signed by the artist. This is one that once again must be picked up right at the studio, uh, KRCB in Rohnert Park. Uh, Guy Buffet Productions, item number 7032, uh, and currently we're looking for an opening bid on that of $800, and we're right back to Chris. Great. Thank you very much, Larry. We've got lots of stuff for you tonight, and Guy Buffet has been really generous with this studio, and we th have big thanks for that and lots of gratitude, and know that whoever ends up with that item is going to have a fabulous, fabulous piece. Right now, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the purple board. We have... Richard Alpert, who's a local Good evening artist to everybody. and sculptor, here to tell us about yes. the purple board. Okay, so we the first item we have is 7162. It's from the Coval Distillery, and it's in Chicago. They bring us a 750 milliliter organic dry gin and more. The value is $85, but we already have a bid in for $60 on this, and the bid increment is in $10. Coval, meaning black sheep distillery, uh, is independent and family owned. It's spearheaded uh, the craft movement. Made with unique variety of woodland spices, juniper, wild flowers, envelop the nose while the taste is dry yet vibrant, nuanced by emerald grasses, golden citrus, and white pepper with a round floral body. This has won several or more uh, awards. The first one is double gold medal in 2015 from the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. Best in show from 2015, again, in the Los Angeles International Spirits Competition. And the third one in 2015, also gold medal in the Spirits Prestige International Awards. You'll receive two logo glasses and two uh, logo t-shirts. The first one's a medium-sized black, and the second one is gray, extra, extra large. And those are, is that all of our, all of our purple items? Uh, and that's actually item 7162. Okay, no, great. so let's keep going. Okay, perfect. Um, the uh, item next is 7243 is Jeremiah's Pick Coffee Company in San Francisco. They have brought us a gift basket this evening. And the value is $100, but we already have a $50 bid up on the board. Uh, the bid increment is $10. Uh, using only the finest Arabica beans from estates located in the premier growing regions of the world, Jeremiah's Pick creates exotic and innovative coffees. Included in the basket, a stainless steel French press, two logo coffee mugs, and four 10-ounce bags of coffee and here's what the here's the four uh, 10 ounce bags first one is organic fog buster it's strong enough to wake the dead and knock your socks off i would imagine 
The uh, breakfast blend is a bright and lively roast of beans from Africa, Indonesia, Central, and South America. And then we have private reserve, spicy character, hints of dark chocolate, and here's a really exotic one we have from Sumatra, Manteling. It's earthly, fragrant, and sweet, and that is item 7243. Uh, moving right along, from the fine folks uh, at the ca uh, Comforts Cafe in San Anselmo, we have item number 7036. It's lunch for two. The value is $50. The opening bid is $25, and we're going to be doing that in increments of 10 Consistently voted best of Marin Comforts Cafe has been serving full flavored quality home style comfort food for 25 years. Comforts means flavor and that offer uh, and they offer the ultimate satisfaction just like home. Their comforts include full flavored soups, salads, entrees, house baked pastries, desserts, and you'll enjoy an entree, beverage, and dessert. Gratuity and holidays are excluded. That's on the purple board, and that's item number 7036. Moving right along, um, we have item 7098 from the Cabot Cheese Cooperative in New England, back east, is a gift box. The value is $75. The opening bid is $35, and the bid increment is 10. Cabot Creamery produces award-winning products and was recognized with a 2016 U.S. Dairy Sustainability Award. The gift box, this is what it contains, are five eight-ounce dairy bars of the following cheeses. Seriously Sharp, Pepper Jack, Sharp Light, Extra Sharp, and Horseradish. There is also one pound each of private stock, vintage choice, and two pounds of Sharp. Also included is cheddar steak, a logo bag, thick and thin slicer, wooden cutting board, and guess what, folks? Free shipping. How could you pass this by? I don't know how you could pass this by. Richard, thank you very much. We have great items on this board. Uh, we have cheese, we have lunch, we have coffee, fabulous items. Make sure you take a look and then either hop online or give our volunteers from Canine Companions in the studio here a call. Right now we're going to take a look at a showcase item and this is item number 7119. This is our Ruby Anniversary Basket donated by the Wine Road Northern Sonoma County value, valued at $1,629. Watch this. You'll receive two tickets to these Wine Road events, the Wine and Food Affair, November 5th and 6th, Winter Wineland in January, and the 40th Annual Barrel Tasting, March 3rd through the 5th. And get to know the Wine Road even better with a one-night midweek stay at the Courtyard by Marriott in Santa Rosa. Visit Miriam Vineyards in Hillsburg and enjoy a private tour and sit-down wine tasting for up to eight people. You'll cross cultures tasting their California-crafted French-style wines in their beautifully appointed tasting room. You'll also visit the Battaglini Estate Winery in Santa Rosa and taste award-winning wines from 135-year-old vines and have a personal tour of the vineyards from the winemaker proprietor. Other items with which to celebrate Wine Road's 40th anniversary are one 750-milliliter bottle each of Papa Pietro Perry 2012 Pinot Noir and Mount's Family Winery 2013 Vera Blanc, two Rydell Red wine glasses, the book Sonoma Photography by Andy Katz, Herb Finishing Salt Gift Box, Robert Young Estate Winery Apron, and Wine Road logo items including a custom barrel stave cloth. That is item number 7119, our, um, donated by the Wine Road in Northern Sonoma County, our Ruby Anniversary Basket. Looking for an opening bid on that of $750. Some uh, uh, wonderful tickets to great events some tours of fabulous wineries and um, wine tastings. You don't want to miss that again, Number item number 7119. Keep that in mind as we make another shift over to the silver board. And Richard's going to tell us about the silver board. I have some great items for you, but Chris, first, I want you to take notice of the shirt. Where is the shirt here? Oh, we're yes. not We're not kidding around, folks. <laughs> we're going to really <laughs> auction some great up. stuff, there you but go. we're going to have fun doing it. Item number seven. 029 is Roman Spa Hot Springs Resort up in, in Calistoga, and they are bringing to us two nights midweek jacuzzi suite 
for two and more, and we'll find out exactly what that means, more. The value is $940. The opening bid is $425. Uh, the bid increment is 50 The uh, Roman Spa Hot Springs Resort is a paradise of invigorating waters set among Mediterranean gardens, private patios, and fountains. Your Splendido Jacuzzi Suite indulges all the senses. Relax in the comforts of your king bedded room with plush, soft, white and white, fluffy bedding, a sitting area. So this time of the year, it's, you gotta be outside to watch stuff because everything, the fall is coming the, uh, and the harvest is coming. So you have a fireplace and enhanced sound system. The bathroom covered in etched stone mosaic tile and marble provides a look and feel from Roman times. Soak in your oversized jacuzzi tub for two filled with geothermal water directly from the source and experience a glass walk-in built shower, especially for two. Soft chamois robes and slippers round out the luxurious experience at this very fine resort. Also included are two spa uh, vouchers valid towards the spa service of 50 minutes or larger. Let's go to the next item here, which we have as 704, 7074. And this is brought to, to us from the Santa Cruz Mountain Brewing down in Santa Cruz. It's a lifetime jug club membership. Lifetime, wow, how can you beat that? Uh, it's a value of $750. The opening bid is $375. The bid increment is $50. Santa Cruz Mountain Brewing is an award-winning certified organic brewery, woman-owned and brewed. Strong women make strong beer, and we all know that. At Santa Cruz Mountain Brewing, all their organic ales are handcrafted and hand bottles. It takes a lot of strength to do that. Um, they are all committed to organic, locally sourced ingredients and sustainable brewing processes. The handcrafted ales are unfiltered, lightly carbonated, and brewed exclusively at the brewery. Now, here's a list of their flagship beers, and they include the People's Porter, Devout Stout, and IPA, Amber Pale, and Pale Ale, and more. Along with receiving a terrific 64-ounce logo jug, your lifetime jug club membership entitles you to a half-price growler refills for life. Oh, that's for life, wow. Barrel-aged beers uh, excluded. Stop by the tap room in Santa Cruz and get your jug custom engraved. Um, jug club privileges can only be shared between two members of the same household. Limit one refill per day at club prices. Prices will vary depending upon the beer uh, that is selected. And that's item number 7074 from the Santa Cruz Mountain Brewing. And moving on, right on, moving on here, we're going to go to uh, item 7177. And that's from George Wine Company, Healdsburg. It's a mixed case of Pinot Noir. The value is $700. Opening bid is $350, with bid increment $50. George Levkoff says the reason he makes wine is because he has, was moved by the wine produced by Burt Williams, the original winemaker at Williams Salium. Akin to Williams Salium's, George's wine is made using gravity, not pumped, and unfined and is unfiltered. George Wine Company only makes Pinot Noir from the heart of the Russian River Valley. The wines are made the same way, but the taste is different because each grape grower has their own philosophy of farming. George's wine has a low alcohol and a low oak style where the fruit is the key. Your case of Pinot Noir has all vineyard-specific wines from the Russian River Valley, from the 2012, 2013, and 2014 vintages. There is a 2012, 2013, and 24 from the Hansen Vineyard, 2012, 2013, and 2014 from the Laris Family Vineyard, 2012 and 2013 from Buena Tierra Vineyard, 2013 and 2014 from Ceremonial Vineyard, 
2013 and 2014 Sonoma Kumar Pinot Noir, which is a blend of Hanson Ceremonial and Laris Vineyards. That's item 7177 on the silver board. And our other, the next item is 7110 from Scott, Scott Harvey Wines, Napa Valley and Amador County. It's two nights for six Shenandoah Valley private tour and wine. The value is $825. The opening bid is $425. Bid increment is $50. Following a prestigious career, including partner, winemaker, and president of Folie Adu Winery in Napa Valley, a 2004, in 2004, Scott began his own venture. The Scott Harvey line focuses on Zinfandel, Syrah, Barbera from the Sierras. Approachable, friendly, food friendly, and full of luscious fruit. You'll stay in the three bedroom, two bath guest house located at the Scott Harvey Winery in the beautiful Shenandoah Valley. Reminds me of a song. Included are a barrel tasting with charcuterie and cheese at the winery. You'll also receive three bottles of the 2011 Old Vine Reserve Zinfandel at the time of your stay. Produced in the old world style of balanced winemaking, the wine expresses the Amador Zinfandel, Brieri Veritel Zinfandel. Notes of roses, pomegranate, bright red fruits, white pepper, redwood forest. Enjoy through 2024. And that's item 71. Uh, seven, let's see, 7110, the next item up is from the Segacio Family Vineyards in Healdsburg. It's item number 7061, six bottles of 2012 Chianti Station in a logo wood box. The value is $600. The opening bid is $300. Bid increment is $50. <clears throat> Segacio Family Vineyards is renowned for their exception exceptional Italian varietals. In 1910, the Segacio family planted a San Genovese field blend in their Chianti Station vineyard in the Alexander Valley, according to the classic Tux uh, Tuscan tradition. The field blend of century-old San Genovese wines provides traditional Chianti flavors in the wine. Um, you'll have, uh, you'll, you'll taste, you'll have spiced red fruit, currant with tones of dusty earth, licorice, cloves, and orange zest. And folks, only 152 cases have been produced. And that's it for the silver board for me. Great, Richard, thank you very much. We have great items up on that silver board. You want to give us a call. Again, 1-800-287-2722 or krcb.org backslash auction. That's the place to go. I'm going to take a look now at the platinum board. We have item number 7107 from the Helwig Winery. This is a brand new state-of-the-art winery. Two nights midweek for 12, Devaney Chateau and more. Current bid, 1650. Helwig Winery is a new state-of-the-art winery located in the heart of picturesque Shenandoah Valley. With their award-winning world-class wines, unique wine caves, unparalleled hospitality, and miles of views, Helwig Winery is the quintessential wine country experience. You'll stay at the breathtaking Devancy Chateau, located on Helwig Winery's estate, with six bedrooms, gourmet kitchen, game room complete with 90-inch flat-screen TV, and laptop pool, Devancy Chateau is the idyllic place to relax in the wine country. From the hand-placed slate roof to the wood beams on the ceiling, every detail is impeccable. Chilled sparkling wine will greet you on check-in and a farm-to-fork cheese basket with local fresh baked bread will be provided by the Foxes Inn. You and your guests will also receive a complimentary wine tasting at Helwig Winery in the private tasting room, where you can enjoy your cheese basket and savor Helwig wines. That's item number 7107, Helwig Winery, or Helwig Winery, valued at $3,600, current bid $1,650. Keep your eye on this as we move through 1-800-287-2722. Moving quickly to Larry, who's going to take us through a gold board. Chris, happy to be back. We're going to give you a look at uh, the second of the gold boards tonight and tell you about item uh, number 70. Three, four, once again from Guy Buffet Productions, California early days with Remark Framed. 
Uh, Guy Buffet studied at the Beaux Arcs de Toulon, which once harbored the artists Chagall, Matisse, Picasso, and my favorite, Toulouse-Lautrec. Uh, the printing was done by Marco Fine Arts and Bay Lab. The image size is 24 by 30, and it's signed by the artist. Only 50 artist proofs were produced on archival paper and the edition with watercolor remarks. The artist proof is number 12 out of 50. This lithograph is matted in linen as a beautiful black and gold frame. With the frame, it measures 38 by 48 inches wide. A certificate edition is included. It must be picked up here at KRCB in Rohnert Park, California. That's item number 7034. It has a value of $1,900 and currently, uh, we have uh, an $800 bid on that. Let's take a look at the next item. It's item number 7164, and it's from CNS Imports of uh, Pico Rivera, California. It's a seven, or excuse me, a 375 milliliter bottle of 15 year old Kwai Cho Motai. It's presented in a lovely decorate, decorative, uh, decorative box. It includes a ceramic carafe. You see all of that right in front of you. It's the world's best-selling liquor. It's China, and it's a baijiu made from grains. Kwai Cho Motai is the number one brand uh, of the baijiu uh, category. It's also named the National Liquor of China. This is 15 years old. It's very rare. It's a masterpiece that is smooth, mellow, yet complex. Incredibly long-lasting on the palate, fragrant on the nose. It's truly exquisite, smooth, mellow, sweet aftertaste, very long finish. It makes an excellent collection piece or a luxury gift. It's valued at $1,299. The current bid on it is $600. That's item number 7164. Our next item. Uh, item number 70, or excuse me, 7208, the Culinary Institute of America at Copia, and it's dinner for six uh, at the restaurant at Copia. The Culinary Institute of America will open its doors after acquiring the Copia property in late 2015. The CIA is excited about caring for the facility's original goal of providing amazing food, wine, and arts-based experience. You're going to enjoy a truly amazing dining experience at the new restaurant at Copia. Uh, small plates will be presented and served tableside by our team of chefs. Dishes inspired by the Napa Valley Harvest, CIA Gardens, and modern cooking techniques. The wine included in the meal will be paired with dishes. The concept of the restaurant is almost the same uh, as dim sum, so chefs will bring to the table uh, for diners to share and there will be dishes brought around in cycles. You'll be able to choose what you'd like to eat with plenty of food coming uh, around the table. That's for six people. It has a value of $1,000 and currently we're at $650 with that. Dinner for six at the new restaurant uh, at Copia. Uh, next item, item number 7079, the Dolphin Bay Resort and Spa in Pismo Beach. It's set along the uh, coast, midway between San Francisco and Los Angeles. Dolphin Bay has an ideal location. This elegant all-suite resort offers an experience unlike any other. Your 1,000 square foot, one bedroom oceanfront suite provides stunning direct views of the ocean. These luxury suites offer fully equipped gourmet kitchens, custom designed living and dining areas, premium linens, king beds, flat screen TVs, walk-in closets, and complete laundry facilities. Dolphin Bay's prime location acts as a central base for numerous activities. Golfing, kayaking, surfing, Hearst Castle, wine tasting, shopping, and more. Uh, winner is responsible for a $25 per night resort fee, which not to much when you get a, a wonderful Dolphin Bay stay. Two nights for two in a one-bedroom oceanfront at $875, Chris. Absolutely fabulous. But instead of dwelling here, we have to move on. I'm going to take a look at number, I showcase item number 7218. This is donated by Livermore Valley Wine Country, valued at $1,750.
Rumor Valley is undergoing a wine renaissance. Welcoming tasting rooms showcase award-winning wines and offer year-round activities, as does the Livermore Valley Wine Growers Association. You'll have a two-night weekday stay for two people at the Purple Orchid Wine Country Resort and Spa with the best available King Suite in the main lodge. Breakfast and the gathering table, wine and olive oil hour, are included. You'll dine at Gari Cafe, featuring California cuisine, with a Mediterranean influence and at Campo de Bocci Ristorante Bar and Bocci Club and barrel tapers at McGrail Vineyards and Winery recent sweepstakes red wine winner at the San Francisco Chronicle Wine Competition and Concanon Vineyards invites you for a tour and tasting for up to eight people the San Francisco premium outlets in Livermore provide gift cards from Ghirardelli Chocolate Kitchen Collection Columbia Sportswear and Samsonite and you'll also receive a case of Livermore Valley Wines to be picked up at the time of your visit at the Livermore Valley Wine Country Office. That is item number 7218, donated by the Livermore Valley Wine Country. We're called the Discover the Livermore Valley Wine Country and its yep. wines. Current bid on that is $800. Keep your eye on it as we move forward into a blue board. Where yes, Richard's we have gonna a blue board us. here. It's item number, the first one is item number 7094, the Parmesan Wines in Hillsburg. Hillsburg. It's a mixed case of signed, uh, of signed, and the value is 436. Currently we have a, a bid of 350, um, and it's in increments of 25. Parmesan makes elegant and refined wines that enable the unique characteristics of the terroir to come through by focusing on cool climate, quote unquote. Vineyard locations, the wines can pair perfectly with food. Um, Pinot Noir, Russian River Valley, Allegria Vineyard, 90 points it's received from the wine enthusiast, the winner of two gold medals. All bottles are signed by the winemaker, Tom Parmesan. Uh, that's uh, item 7094. We're going to move right along here to s item 7219. Blue Cape Cellars in Santa Barbara County. It's a case of 2012 Pinot Noir. The current uh, the bid is $250. Bid increments is $25. This inaugural release of wine won a double gold medal in 2014 from the San Francisco International Wine Competition and also uh, was uh, rated at 96 out of 100 points. The wine is deep garnet with a bright taste with layers of dried strawberries, cherries, and spice. Less than 250 cases were produced. And that's item number 7219. And item 7066, Campania Ranch a Winery in Windsor. And they're offering a tour of um, a wine and uh, a barrel tasting for six people with the winemaker. The value is $500. We currently have a, a bid of $225. The bid increment is 25. After 30 years of amateur winemaking, Steve Bell created his own boutique winery, Campania Ranch Winery. And he's received uh, in, uh, many different uh, uh, awards and uh, he has received a double gold. Steve's eclectic style of, of, uh, of making wine that goes into each bottle is showcased in the individual personalities of his wine. You and your guests will enjoy an afternoon of wine tasting with the winemaker at Campania Ranch Winery. And that's item 7066. The next item is 7048, the Ansa Sonoma. Private Outlook Tasting for four, the value is $300, and it is currently at 125, bid increments are $25. You and your guests will experience wine tasting in one of the winery's private, quote unquote, outlooks. Perched along the hillsides in your one-of-a-kind custom outlook, your group will enjoy a flight of reserved wines served alongside a locally sourced cheese pairing as you take in the stunning views. Please book five to six weeks in advance for mutually agreed upon date and plan. Uh, moving along, uh, actually let's, let's get that number, that item number again is 7048, now 7117. This looks like a wonderful one, Tramsburg and Davies Vineyards in Calistoga. It's two signed magnums, that's the big guys. Uh, the value is $325, the current bid is $225. The 2009 Schramsberg Brut Rosé and the 2012 J. Davies Cabernet Diamond Mountain District 
are signed and presented in a logo box. And the, uh, the Brut Rosé has complex and dense nose with aromas of raspberry, strawberry, followed by exotic candy, mango, pineapple, and papaya. The J. Davies Can um, Cabernet Sauvignon has dark, perfumed aromas of marionberry jam and hints of cacao. Uh, these are made by Sean Thompson, and Hugh Davies are the winemakers. The next um, item is 7159. It's the Risk Carlton Half Moon Bay tasting menu for two with wine pairings. The value is 300. The current Val, uh, current bid is $296. Your tasting menu dinner with wine pairings in Navio will be with Chef Jason Pringle. It's boasting exceptional seafood dishes and a comfortable California-inspired design. The cuisine in Navio combines the subtle flavors of the sea with fresh textures, light savory uh, accompaniments uh, to go with the uh, entrees. Uh, holidays, special events, additional alcohol are excluded. Certain blackout dates may apply. Gratuity and parking are the responsibility of the winner. Okay, we have great items up there. Make sure that you make note and give us a call or uh, go to krcb.org. We're going to take a look very quickly at the platinum board and platinum board item number 7033. This is a donation again by Guy Buffet Productions, Le Sommelier, Artist Proof Framed Lithograph. Born in Paris, Guy Buffet studied at the Beaux-Arts de Toulon, which once harbored the artists Chagall, Matisse, Picasso, and Toulouse-Lautrec. Les Samoyers is a hand-pulled lithograph printed by Arts Litho Paris. The image size is 25 inches by 19 inches. Only 50 artist proofs were made, and this one is numbered 10 of 50. It is signed by the artist. Les Samoyers has a beige linen matting with a black frame. Frame the size is 38 inches high by 31 inches wide. A certificate of addition is included. Must be picked up at KRCB in Rohnert Park, not available for shipping. And there you see the platinum board from uh, Guy Buffet. Make sure you get your uh, bids on that one. It'll be here till Sunday night. All right, we're going to move right along now. By the way, we've got a showcase item. This is uh, number three of our six showcase items here tonight. So uh, watch your screens for uh, item number 7175. This is Carneros Wine Alliance. This is a beauty. And we need your bid of 1000 bucks. Well, all right, now this is uh, the uh, case and a half of Carneros wines. That's 18 bottles, of course, 14 Pinot Noirs, and uh, we've got uh, three Chardonnays and uh, Pinot Meunier from uh, Bouchain, and I know I'm mispronouncing most of this, but uh, you can explore the Carneros district with three uh, special experiences, tasting and tour at the Donham Estate, a private wine tasting, and a Poseidon vineyard, and there's so much more that our volunteers will tell you about. Uh, we obviously had a little problem with the video at the moment. So let's move over to Richard. Richard has our silver board for tonight, and that's what you want to take a look at right now. Richard. Hello, Stan. How are you doing? Speedy look nice at it. Nice to meet go. you. And uh, we have the silver board number two, Parducci Wine Cellars in Ukiah. It's two nights for four and wine. You'll have a two-night stay uh, in the Parducci exclusive guest house. Now, this is a, has a value of $1,270. The current bid is $675. During your stay, you'll have a tour of the historic winery and enjoy tasting of their award-winning wines. You'll also receive one bottle each of their 2014 True Grit Reserve Chardonnay and 2013 True Grit Reserve Petite Syrah. And that's item number 7092. Moving right along here, we have item number 7112 from, uh, this brought to us from 1022 in Sacramento. Contemporary four course beer dinner for 10. The value is $650. The current bid is, uh, is 
uh, is the opening bid of 325, uh, bid increments of $50. Located in the heart of Old Sacramento, 1022 prides itself on award-winning cuisine and superior quality brews. And uh, the, uh, the food that is offered there is offered by a chef that has uh, received classical French training and uh, offers a quote-unquote new American menu featuring locally sourced ingredients and regional farmers. Uh, this is to be arranged for mutual agreeable date and holidays in December are excluded. And moving again along uh, at a quick pace, we have item number 7115, and some friend at KRCB has donated seven bottles of vertical Gunlock Bunshu Vintage Reserve. Uh, the value is $700. The current, val the current bid is $450. Bid increments are $50. You'll receive three bottles of 2010 vintage, two bottles each of 2011 and 2012 vintages. These limited bottlings are primarily Cabernet Sauvignon with small amounts of Cabernet Franc. The 210 Vintage Reserve is deeply layered, lush aromas of cassis and dark cocao. The 2011 Reserve uh, Vintage has aromas of blackberry, um, black spice, dried lavender, Dijarling tea, uh, followed by concentrated flavors of black currant and cacao. 2012 Vintage Reserve uh, has received 94 points from Robert Parker Jr.'s, quote unquote, the wine advocate. And that is item 7115 on the uh, number two silver board. The next item is brought to us by Boutique Wine Tours of Kenwood. The item number is 7135. It's a six hour luxury wine tour for six. The value is $750. The current bid is $375. You'll tour either Sonoma or Napa wine country in a beautiful six passenger Lincoln stretch limo. You're gonna be very special about this. And uh, as the uh, wine country locals for over 30 years, the right nuances are essential to make a wine tour an unforgettable experience. They have cultivated countless relationships with a wide variety of winery owners, winemakers, small boutique properties, and even the VIP ultra premium wine estates. Stroll through the vineyards, meet the cult winemakers, includes a bottle of champagne. Uh, there are blackout dates that apply to this. Item number 7135. And uh, looks like with the last one um, on my silver list here is item number 7230, Motion Vineyards, Healdsburg. It's two nights for two in the guest house suite and more. The value is $650. Currently, we have on the board $525. The bid increment is $50. Motion specializes in small lot handcrafted wines, uh, Pinot Noir, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, Merlot, Petite Syrah, and Zinfandel Fresh Flowers, and a welcome basket of treats await you in the cozy private suite at the winery. Motion Vineyard's farming methods are sustainable and they have established energy saving practices through the use of gravity flow and solar energy. Motion Vineyard's is a non-smoking property. No pets, please. All right, thank you, Richard. Nice job with that silver board. Take a look at that and make your bids. 1-800-287-2722 is our place to bid, and krcb.org slash auction is a place to go if you want to take a look at something again. Moving right along, because we're running behind, and we got a lot of bids to go and a lot of wonderful stuff here. So this is our platinum board. Um, this is item number 7077. And uh, this is a value of $3,000, Elite Island Resorts, Palm Island Resort in the Grenadines. Seven nights, two rooms for two to four people. Uh, this is a value of $3,000, Palm Island Resort. And uh, we believe we have the video ready to go, so take a look at your screens in your living rooms right now. Imagine basking in the sun on your own private island, steps from the warm turquoise waters of the Caribbean. 
Palm Island Resort is an oasis of tropical serenity known for its stunning natural beauty. Located on the southern tip of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, your Palm View rooms feature sitting areas and private furnished terraces overlooking either the pool or gardens. You'll have a spacious bath, air conditioning, mini bar, daily housekeeping, and nightly turndown service. Palm Island Resort provides personal service and superb cuisine, carefully crafted to highlight the best of local Caribbean specialties and international flavors. At the elegant Royal Palm Restaurant, you'll enjoy beautiful ocean views and sea breezes along with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Located right on the sand, the Sunset Grill offers an array of local and international delights with a distinct Caribbean flair. Your gift certificate provides seven nights accommodations, double occupancy for up to two rooms. However, your certificate is transferable to other select elite island resorts, so you can choose to use one room at the Palm Island and use the second room at a different resort. And there you go. That's the uh, platinum item. Um, that is the uh, elite isle of resorts, and we need a bid on that. All right, and you can see the uh, minimum bid is thirteen fifty, so you can beat that. Get on the board, take that home Sunday night. It's just that simple here at the big auction. Larry is here. We're moving really quickly through. Uh, what are we at here, Larry? We've got the orange board. We're looking at the first uh, edition of the orange board here. We already have some bids. You remember to do that by calling or by checking in at krcb.org, and that's the reason why we have some bids there even before it be gets on the TV. Uh, this orange board closes tonight, so don't miss your bid. What's the number here, Stan? It's 800-287-2722. Don't forget to call that number. Let's go through this one quickly. The first item, item number 7249, Revive Kombucha from Petaluma. It's a mixed case of logo items. We've got one of the guys here going, yum, yum, he's fond of that. Revive Kombucha is a family-owned craft kombucha brewery. Uh, it's organic, vegan, raw packed with probiotics and really tasty. That's what we hear. Each flavor has its own distinctive craft brew style. You're going to receive a mixed case of 12 11 ounce bottles. You see them right in front of you there. Uh, they may include Spring Fling, Wild Ginger, Tropic Wonder, Upbeat, Campfire Craft, Cola Redo, Free Ride, and a number of others. You're also going to receive uh, a hooded uh, or a logo hoodie uh, and either a hat or a beanie. It's not available for shipping. You have to come and pick those up. It's item number 7249, that case of kombucha. Currently, we have a $60 bid on that. Thank you, Bitter, for, for getting in there early and starting things out. Next item, item number, here we go. It's item number 7090, and it's Dargenzio Winery. It's a $50 uh, gift certificate. Uh, we need just $25, so you're buying money. Use your gift certificate any way you like. It's valid for wine, food, towards wine club memberships, merchandise, or anything else at Dargenzio from their winery and tasting room. It's an urban boutique winery. Some great wines there. Item number 7090, a $50 gift certificate, and just $25 to get that one started. Next item, item number 7105. Uh, it's edible credits for two, that's an interesting way to put it, at the Hillside Supper Club in San Francisco. It has a value of $110 and currently looking for just $55 to get started there. In Bernal Heights, this intrepid 20-something chefs, uh, Tony Ferrari and Jonathan Sutton, weave their food around a terrific wine program. Given the chef's Italian background, the menu leans in that direction with Nona's meatballs and handmade pasta, pork ragu, but they also turn out other hearty treats like their famed signature pot pie. The dish arrives at your table in a scalding skillet capped with flaky crust. That's item number 7105, edible credits for two, a value of $110, just $50, $55 to get going there. And the next is item number 7192, eight boxes, of black and red rice crackers. Uh, it's a value of $144, looking for $65 to get started there. The secret is the taste of black and red rice from Thailand. Black and red rices pack more nutrients and flavor than other white or brown rices. By keeping ingredients to a minimum, all the flavor you get in every crunchy bite 
comes from the whole grain rice itself. You're going to receive four boxes of each, red crackers and black rice crackers. Box contains 12 individual serving size bags. That's item number 7192. Let's get that started with $65. We're right back to stand now. All right, thanks, Larry. As we pull out, you can see all those items. You want to put a bid on one, two, three, maybe all four of them. Call our volunteers. Look at that. They're talking to people right now, and that's what it's all about, making money so we can next weekend have your regular programming right here at KRCB. So now what we want, we want bronze item number 7134. What is that? Well, let's explore San Francisco. The Mission Food and Drink Tour for Four. Check this out. We have no audio on this one, so talk. All righty. This is the uh, bronze item here. You see this is the Mission District. It's a celebration of the culinary arts, world-class dining destination, one of the capitals of the foodie world. If you're a foodie, make sure that's your bid up there, a minimum of 250 on this one. This is going to go away later tonight. So this will be a quick in and out. Get your bid on there. Your guide is from the neighborhood, and he knows the owners and the staff of the places you're going to visit. You've done one of these uh, hole-in-the-wall tours before. You know how much fun this is. So make your bid right now. Bronze item, 7134. Make it yours tonight. All right. Larry is back, and we've got a gold board uh, going on. What is it? Hey, Stan, this next gold board is one of those that closes at the end of the weekend. The end of the auction, the gold board closes, so you have to bid now and bid to win. This is the time to do it. See if you can get the uh, ball rolling here. And we have a number of bids on the items on this part of the large gold board. Uh, first item, number 7217, Deerfield Ranch Winery in Kenwood. Robert Rex is a good pal of mine, and he's been making wonderful wines at Deerfield for years and years. Uh, it's in a certified organic producer and award-winning. He makes small lots of handcrafted wine, more than 26 carefully selected vineyards in Sonoma County. Specializing in blended wines, Deerfield is the forefront of this modern, traditionally based style, cutting edge of California winemaking techniques. Uh, while luxuriating under the oaks at Deerfield Ranch, uh, overlooking Sonoma Mountain and Valley of the Moon, enjoy Re the renowned Deerfield wines, and you learn the flavors of different grape varietals. The subtleties derived from blending and more. You're going to take home half a case of Deerfield's flagship Meritage DRX. The 1999 DRX is a classic Bordeaux-style Bordeaux -style blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Cabernet Franc. Some great wines are a great way to get your cellar going out. Our number 7217 Deerfield Ranch. You get the, the tasting for six people and six bottles of wine. Next item, item number 7071, a Mauna Kea Beach Hotel in Hawaii. It's on the big island of Hawaii. It stands as a landmark of luxury uh, on the beach, one of Hawaii's best ranked beaches by the top travel authorities. Your luxury guest room is going to offer elegant furnishings, bold sunset colors, and ocean view wide lanai. The high-tech amenities produce a guest room experience that is ultra high luxury and comfortable. Uh, included is their luau dinner show for two. Tables are laden with fragrant uh, roasted pig, island fish, lomi salmon, and sashimi, and piles of pineapple, papaya, and more. Created for Newsweek magazine back in the 60s, this luau competes with the experience, taste, and culture, and shared by means of music, food, and family tradition. This is December 18th through January 5th, the peak season, uh, is excluded. Uh, it's item number 7071. Uh, currently, uh, a bid on that of $1,025, but a value of $2,200 and $95. That's two nights for two in the ocean. Item number 7076, an elite sorts of villas. Seven nights, two rooms uh, for two or four people. It has a value of $2,800. 
they have a current bid of uh, $1,250. This is located on a 100-acre peninsula on the coast of Antigua, St. James Club Resort and Villa, like ambience. Two white sand beaches offer a host of activities. Cocoa Beach is like an aquarium for snorkelers, while the waters of Memora Bay are ideal for swimming. There are also six distinctive swimming pools. Your club room, located on the ground floor, has a tropical decor, dark wood furnishings, terracotta floors, and a prior. The resort has four top-notch restaurants that serve everything from casual to continental cuisine. Uh, this gift certificate provides seven nights of combination, double occupants for up to two rooms. However, your certificate is trans transferable to other select elite island resorts. So you can choose uh, from St. James or a second room at a different resort. That's item number 7076, Elite Resorts. You get seven nights, two rooms, two or four people, currently at just $1,250. The next item, the Culinary Institute of America, item number 7209, and you're gonna get a private wine tasting experience in the Reserve Tasting Salon for four people. Now this is a great wine tasting. They put a value of $2,000 on it. They're right. You need an opening bid of $1,000 on this. Uh, rare wines are experienced, customized to your specific taste, and uh, the interest by the CIA, sommelier, and chef will leave your party of four begging for more. Uh, the sommelier there is, is a good friend of mine. Uh, her name is Tracy Dustin. This is held in Copia's private tasting salon, complete with ex exquisite glassware, small bites, designed especially for you by Copia's executive chef, Victor Scargill. The wines will be carefully selected. Uh, the Culinary Institute of America, you're gonna learn to sip and savor with expert guidance. You wanna take your friends uh, and have a great Cabernet, you want to take your friends and have a great Bordeaux, you're going to taste 5, 10, and 20-year-old wines side by side to see how they develop. Remember, a value of $2,000 and an opening bid of just $1,000 for this great event at Copia, the Culinary Institute of America puts it on. It's item number 7209. Stan. Thank you, Larry, for that look at the uh, gold board. And reminder, you are bidding against people from all over the Bay Area right now as they all come here to support KRCB. So get your bids in early, get them in high, and that's how you win here at the KRCB Wine and Epicurean Auction. It's the Bay Area Auction. We've got item number 7140. That's our platinum item. And uh, this is really neat. A scenic luxury cruise and tour in where else? France. Check this out. <laughs> The Scenic Diamond, an intimate and cutting-edge scenic spaceship, provides the ultimate in all-inclusive luxury. Visit the beautiful 13th-century port of Libourne and spend the afternoon in saint Emilion, the jewel of this ancient wine-growing region. Then enjoy a glass of wine at the exclusive estate of Chateau Suriac. The next day, explore the elite Chateau Franc Man, tasting Grand Cru class wine, or view the eclectic city of Bergerac. Soak in the riverside panoramas while cruising to Payoc. You'll travel the scenic Medoc wine route with its many fine chateaux. Dinner is an unforgettable experience with Grand Cru class wines at the charming 18th century Farm Suzanne on the Giscour estate. The following day brings Cadillac with some of the most beautiful scenic cruising in the Bordeaux region. Taste wine in the Sauterne region at the prestigious Chateau Giraud or the Grand Cru class estate of Chateau Mirat or visit Roquetillade Castle, founded by Charlemagne. On your final evening at Bordeaux, you'll have a special dinner showcasing regional delicacies before an Illuminations cruise on the Garonne River. Away from that other bidder, make sure you get your bid in there right now. The number will be on your screen. And it's 1 800 287 2722, or you can go online and check it all out. As a matter of fact, the few times we've had some problems with some of our videos tonight, if you want to take a look at those videos and you want to check them out again, go to the website, krcb.org slash auction, and all of the videos are right there, and you can make your bids right there too. Larry is back with a green board. Stan, we're going to have our first look at the green board. This closes tonight. Yes. So you have to get your bids in now and bid to win, as our friend uh, Caleb would say. 
Uh, let's look at the uh, very first thing. Stan just told you, go to krcb.org slash auction, and that's what this first uh, item, uh, somebody went there and already put a bid in uh, on what's going on there. So we're going to tell you what it is. It is from Stein Distillery in Joseph, Oregon. It's item number 7224, and it's five-year-old bourbon and rye whiskeys. This, this guy, whoever, this person, whoever bid on this knows that he likes uh, rye and bourbon whiskeys. Uh, straight Ram Rye Whiskey, Straight Bull Bourbon, and two Glencairn glasses, uh, considered to be the official whiskey tasting glasses. The development of Straight Ram Rye Whiskey, I'm starting to sound like, uh, I, 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 like I've been drinking a little bit of it. Uh, it's uh, done in an oak barrel. It gives you spicy cinnamon aroma. The flavor profile is complex and full-bodied. Uh, double gold medal at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. The aroma of straight bull bourbon. Now, this is starting to sound political, isn't it? What do you think, Stan? It's, it uh, has hints in the nose of elegant caramel. Uh, the flavor profile consists of vanilla, earthy tones, and spice. Double gold medal winner at the San Francisco World Spirits Competition also. This is Stein Distillery, Joseph, Oregon. It has a value of $132. Uh, we're looking for just... Uh, $75 or $50 to open this one. Let's do that. Uh, Five-year-old uh, bourbon and rye whiskeys, item number 7224. Bid on this one. Bring your friends over and you'll get into a good conversation, I promise. Next item, item number 7156. You're going to go to uh, Nona, Nona Lim in Oakland. Your choice, it's a value, it's a gift certificate, value of $100, based in Oakland, California. This is a non-GMO, dairy-free, gluten-free, soups, broths, convenient meals, the freshest local organic ingredients by Asian flavors. Check out the website, uh, Nona Lim in Oakland, and uh, you buy for $50, you buy a $100 gift certificate. It looks like some great food. Next item on the first of the green boards, uh, item number 7185. It's a private food and wine experience for two at Ashton Vineyards in Glen Ellen. It's a family-owned and organically farmed producer of Pinot Noir and Syrah. Ashton Vineyards recently received 93 points from the North Coast Wine Competition. By the way, I was a judge there, so you know I like this wine. Ashton produces less than 500 cases a year. This is a rare, one-of-a-kind private wine for food pairing experience. Experience includes the rare Pinot Noir made from 45-year-old estate and uh, vines and then cellar aged for 12 years. Enjoy a wine estate Syrah, six food pairings with the wine, and an informal wine education with the owner, Stephen Ashton. That's item number 7185, uh, private wine and food experience for two. Uh, currently looking for a $65 bid to open that up. Next item, 7210, uh, De La Rosa, San Francisco. It's a gift card, value of $100. We just need $50 to open that up. It first opens its doors in the Marina District. Since then, De La Rosa has served the neighborhood destination for casual, communal-style dining. A second location can be found in the Financial District. Beloved for its Roman-style pizza, small plates, craft beer, Italian, and Californian wines, and craft cocktails. De La Rosa is at its interpretation of classic, unpretentious beer, pizza, and has made its mark on many locations and visitors on the must-go-to list. That's item number 7210. Uh, looking for just $50 to get that open. And we're going to go right back to Stan, looking on. On that, as we pull out, you can take a look, and we've got one bid, lots of room for you to put your bid up there, and we are live from the North Bay. This is the uh, Bay Area Wine and Epicurean Auction here at KRCB, um, funding lots of the programs that you know and you love right here. So let's move it along. We've got, oh, I want to thank some people who have uh, really fed us tonight beautifully, and that is uh, Flavor uh, Bistro in Santa Rosa. Uh, they provided the, tonight's food for all the volunteers, and we want to thank them big time. It is yummy and good. So if you get a chance or you're here in Santa Rosa, check out Flavor Bistro in downtown Santa Rosa, right on Courthouse Square, which they are building again. 
<laughs> All right, here's the, we got to move along here. This is item number 7229 if you're playing at home. It's the Wineries of Santa Clara Valley Association. Uh, this is our showcase item. Again, you can see this online at the krcb.org slash auction if uh, we don't get to the video at the moment. Uh, it's a case of Santa Clara Valley wines uh, and uh, from, uh, from the Lion Ranch Vineyards and Sunlit Oaks Winery and Martin Ranch and Sartori and Solis Winery and Sarah's Vineyard. And it's all part of this package. And we have a bid right now of $625. Check it out. Immigrants who settled in the Santa Clara Valley during the 1840s recognized the rich soils and the Mediterranean climate as the perfect New World home for their European grape varietals. Your case of Santa Clara Valley wines includes two 2013 Lion Ranch Vineyards and Winery Vognier, two 2012 Sunlit Oaks Winery Sangiovese, from Martin Ranch, two 2013 wines, a Sangiovese and a Carignan, a 2012 Sartori Oso Zin and 2011 Sartori Merlot of the Violet Flame, from Solus Winery, two 2012 wines, a Petit Verdot and Syrah. From Syrah Vineyards, a 2012 Charbonneau and a 2013 Pinot Noir Estate. Relax in luxury with a two-night stay for two at Gilroy's Best Western Plus Forest Park Inn. You'll enjoy dinner at both Odium Restaurants in Morgan Hill and the Melius Restaurant in Gilroy. Breakfast at Cafe 152 Bread Company. Also included are two tickets for Lumination at Gilroy Gardens. You'll also receive two passports for wineries of Santa Clara Valley Fall Passport Weekend. On Friday, September 30th, you'll taste wine from member wineries and sample food from local restaurants. On the weekend, member wineries host passport holders on property. All right, there you see it, item number 7229. Again, you can check it out on our website, and this will be gone Sunday night. So make sure that you have your successful bid up there right now. Don't wait. Larry is back, and we're checking out the gold board. Right, Larry? Hey, Stan, we're getting into what this auction is all about, some great wines. Remember, these gold boards close on Sunday, so don't miss your chance. And there's some wonderful wines coming up here. Let's start with the first one, item number 7193. It's from Varosa Vineyards in St. Helena. It's a case of the 2010 limited production Cabernet Sauvignon. Has a value of $960, currently a $750 bid. Uh, for 100 years, one vision has endured at Varosa Vineyards to create lasting wine growing, wine making legacy, and to respect the land with a passion for their craft. Like many older Cabern Cabernet Sauvignon vineyards in the Napa Valley, the vines have limited yields, and these wines are by far the most concentrated and balanced of their peers. The berries are the size of a blueberry at best, thick skins and loaded with color and tannin. The flavor they produce tends towards rustic, earth-driven, with the undercurrents of very black fruit. The tannins are incredible, well-structured, but integrate into the wine with such finesse, you would think they're made of silk. This is item number 7193 in Barossa Vineyards of St. Helena, uh, a case of the 2010 limited production Cabernet, currently $750 bid. Next item on the gold board is item 7143, Ancient Oak Vineyards in Santa Rosa. You get three cases of wine, tasting and lunch for two. Ancient Oak is a family-owned winery with a tasting room in downtown Santa Rosa. Ancient Oak's celebrated wine maker Greg LaFollette brings extensive experience and hands-on approach to the wines. And I'll tell you, Greg LaFollette, world-class winemaker. You're going to receive three cases of wine, the Russian River Chardonnay, the Russian River Valley Zinfandel, and the Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, some great wines there. I've tasted all of these. The value is $1,092. We have a current bid of $675. What a great way to fill out your wine cellar at home or a great way to uh, get ready for the holidays coming up. Open a case of wine every time somebody comes over and you're going to enjoy your holidays much more. Item number 7143, currently at $675. Here's one of the big items. It's item number 7221. It's uh, the Cardinal in Oakville, and the Cardinal Winery is giving three, a three-liter 2012 Cardinal. So that's one of the big 
bottles of wine. It's a four, four uh, 750 bottles into one. Uh, it has a value of $1,500 when you include the VIP tasting for four. This 2012 blend of Cardinal Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon is 84% Cabernet, 16% Merlot, and 94% new French oak used. Dense purple accompanied by notes of graphite, blackberries, black currants, roasted coffee, vanillin, baking spice, and forest floor. It has enormous complexity with richness as well as full-bodied power and voluptuousness. It's a wine of exceptional purity, intensity, and well-integrated acidity, alcohol, tannin, and wood. This is a majestic Cabernet, and it dominated in 2012. You should drink the wine for at least the next two decades. 98 points from Robert Parker. This is the item number 7221, a three-liter bottle uh, of the 2012 Cardinal and the VIP tasting uh, for four, currently at $1,075. Next item from Ravenswood, one of those other really well-known wineries in Sonoma County. It's their three-bottle, six-liter horizontal Zinfandel. Uh, currently, it, it has a $1,500 value, currently at just $900. One six-liter uh, from each of the following vineyards, Old Hill Ranch, Barica Vineyards, and Bologna Vineyards. This unique Old Hill Ranch vineyard in Sonoma County has no pesticides. Irrigation uh, are, uh, is employed. It just has scant tonnage combined with ideal growing conditions for the 110-year-old vines. Uh, this wine, dark, rich, provocative flavors. The color of the Bariche Zinfandel is beautiful ruby garnet, sense of warm blackberry pie. And due to the long ripening time and penetrating intervals of afternoon sun, the bologna uh, Zinfandel is deeply colored with an intense odor and the flavor and character of boysenberries, blueberries. This is really a, a treat. Great gifts for the holidays. Item number 7145, currently with just uh, $900. Oh, excuse me, the bid is now $1,325, pardon me, for a value of $1,500, this Ravenswood Winery. And when it says gold here, we're really referring to what's in the bottle. Great stuff. Now we're back with Chris. Great, Larry, thank you very much. We have got lots of great items again up on that board. Call in, make that winning bid. Right now, we're gonna fasten your seatbelts. We're gonna speed up a little bit. We're gonna take a look at the purple board and do a quick review for you. Okay, just to remind you that uh, the purple board will be closing in a few minutes. The first item is 7162 from the Coval Distillery in Chicago. The starting bid is 40 and the current bid is $60. So come on in, and I know there are lots of uh, martini drinkers out there, so even though this is wine country. So the next item is 7243, and that is a gift basket from Jeremiah's Pick Coffee Company in San Francisco. And they have a variety of items in the basket, uh, including four 10-ounce bags of coffee, um, organic fog buster, breakfast blend, and it goes on. The current starting bid is 50, and the current uh, bid is $70. So. And the next, that's item 7243. The next one is item 7036. Okay. And that's lunch for two in uh, San Anselmo at the Comforts Cafe. That's a value of $50 and starting bid at $25. We're currently at $45 on that. And then we're going to go to item number 7098, which is a gift box from the Cabot Creamery. There are five eight-ounce uh, dairy bars of cheeses like Seriously Sharp, Pepper Jack, Sharp Light, and we currently uh, have a bid of $55 on that. So that's what we got. Thank you very much. We have lots of great items on there. Thank you very much, Richard. Uh, right now we're going to take a very quick look at the bronze board. This is item number 7150 from Hogafen Cellars in Napa. This is a tour and tasting for six with a case of Cabernet Franc. Um, valued at $650, current bid on that $350. You have got to watch this. 
Located adjacent to the Stag's Leap and Oak Knoll districts, Hagafen Cellars is the ideal location for the growth and production of ripe, rich, intensely fruity, small lot estate bottled wines. Since 1980, Hagafen's wines have been served on numerous occasions at the White House during state dinners. Owner and winemaker Ernie Weir's daily involvement in both grape growing and winemaking ensures the superb quality of the wines. During your tour and tasting at the winery, you can choose to taste wine from any of Ernie Weir's three labels, Hagafen, Pre, or Don Ernesto. You'll leave with a case of Hagafen Cellars 2012 Napa Valley Cabernet Franc. The fleshy, supple nose of this exquisite wine wows you with violets, red currants, and rose. The mouth bursts with flavors of the deep forest glen, rich earth, deep dark black cherries, and rose hips. This is a CCOF certified organically grown vineyard source. A case of wine can be shipped at your expense. Vintage and or varietals are subject to change. Tours are held in the morning only, Sunday through Friday. Holidays excluded. Valid until September 18th, 2017. <laughs> That's item number 7150, Hagafen Cellars in Napa. Tour, tour and tasting for six with a case of Cabernet Franc. Uh, valued at $650, moving very quickly, as you can see, to the Platinum Board. This is our Tambor Bay Vineyards in Calistoga, three-night guest house stay with the tour tasting lunch and leader Cabernet Sauvignon. Take a look at this. Your beautiful two-bedroom, one-bath, Tuscan-style Tambor Bay guest house is a warm retreat set on the Napa River in Yontville. The main room, with cathedral ceiling and exposed beams, features a wood-burning fireplace, seating area with leather sofa and rocker, and a marble-appointed kitchen and dining area. French doors open from the main living area onto the veranda, with a stone wood-burning fireplace, gas barbecue, and jets to the vineyard. Vaulted ceilings glorify the two double bedrooms, which share an Italian-tiled full bath. You'll visit Tambor Bay Winery at Sundance Ranch in Calistoga, a world-class equestrian facility dedicated to training top performance horses. You'll have a private tour of the winemaking facility and stables, followed by a six-flight tasting of Tambor Bay's premium wines. After your tasting, you'll be treated to a Napa-style lunch, hosted by owners Barry and Jennifer Waite. At the conclusion of your experience, you'll be presented with a six-liter bottle of Tambor Bay Cabernet Sauvignon from the owner's own Du Chaveau Vineyard. That is item number 7109, our Tambor Bay Vineyards item. Three nights guest house stay with tour tasting lunch and six liter Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, call in and make a bid right now as we move to our last review of the Orange Board. I think this is going to close in a few minutes. It is. So, it's going to close soon. Okay. Let us know what's going on. A good on. time to bid. Thanks, bidders. We have a bid on all of the items here, and we appreciate your support of KRCB. Let's look at item number 7249. It's a mixed case and more from Revive Kombucha at Petaluma. Had an opening bid of $50 uh, and currently $70 bid on that. Has a value of $102. So if you're a big fan of kombucha, this is the time to go for that. The next item, item number 7090, your choice from the uh, Dargenzio Family Winery. It's like a gift certificate. You can use it for anything you want, food, wine, uh, membership to the uh, to the. Uh, wine Club. Uh, currently, we have a bid of $35 on that. Thank you, bidder, for that. Uh, that's item number 7090. Next item uh, is item number 7105. Edible credits for two. I like that. It's from the Hillside Supper Club in San Francisco. Uh, it has a value of $110. Currently, the bid on that is $75. So just like a gift certificate, go to Edible Credits and find out what's going on there. Next item, item number 7192, eight boxes of black and red rice crackers. We all know people who eat rice crackers. You might as well get them the very best. Uh, we have a current bid of $65 on that with a donor value of $144. So thanks all of the bidders, and we're going back to Chris now. All right, look, lots of great items up there. Make sure that you call in quickly. Again, this board is going to close very shortly. We're going to move uh, right now to Richard, who's going to do a oh, purple board. Thank you very much. We have a uh, purple board. Purple Richard. Richard, come on up. Hello. Thank you. Thanks for your patience. All right, what do we got going on? Well, we've got the blue board, according to my uh, clipboard here, at Parmesan Wines in Healdsburg. It's item number 7094. It's a mixed case of signed wine, and the value is 436. The current value is 300. 
uh, the current bid is three hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, and the purple board is closed. Thanks for letting me okay. interrupt you. You keep going. You got the blue. Oh, board. All right, I'm yep. back. This is you, too much. Too much. I'm having too much fun. Yep. Uh, Parmesan makes elegant and refined wines that enable the unique characteristics of the terroir to come That's through. Weird. The wines, uh, this is item number 7094. It's a mixed case and it's signed. The value is $436 and the bid that's currently there is $350. The next item is 7219 and it's Blue Cape Cellars, Santa Barbara County. It's a case of 2012 Pinot Noir. The value is $390 and we have a bid currently of $250. Um, this is an inaugural release wine, uh, which won a double gold medal in 2014 from the San Francisco International Wine Competition. Less than 250 cases were produced, and that's item number uh, 7219. And the current uh, bid is uh, a current uh, uh, um, you know, bid isn't there is $250. Okay, uh, moving on. Uh, item number 7066 from Campania Ranch Winery in Windsor. It's a tour wine and barrel tasting with six, four six with the winemaker. <clears throat> Value is 500. The current bid is 225. And um, the, you and your guests will enjoy an afternoon of wine tasting with the winemaker. And that's item number 7066. Uh, next item, moving right along here, is item number 7048 from Vianza in Sonoma. And you and your guests will experience fine wine tasting in one of the winery's private outlooks. And the value is $300. The bid is $125 currently. That's item number 7048. The next item is 7117. And that's Schramsberg and Davies Vineyards in Calistoga. It's two signed magnums. The value is three twenty-five. The current bid is three seventy-five. And uh, this is a very complex, dense nose of Brut Rosé, which bursts with aromas. And the Cabernet Sauvignon has a dark, perfumed aromas of Marionberry, plus many other kinds of aromas. The next item is seven one five nine. It's the Ritz-Carlton Half Moon Bay tasting menu for two with wine pairings. The value is $300. The bid currently is $296. And uh, that would be it for the Blue Board. Great. Lots of great items on the Blue Board. Be sure that you call 1-800-287-2722 and bid. We're going to take a look now at our showcase item number 7212. And this is our Santa Cruz Mountains Wine Growers Association. Orange board is closed. Thank you, donors. Thank you, bidders. We are going to take a look now again at item number 7212. This is our showcase item from the uh, Santa Cruz Mountain Wine Growers. Welcome to Santa Cruz Mountains. Bid on that is $825. You have got to watch this. With mountainous terrain, marine and valley influences, varied microclimates, and diverse soils, the Santa Cruz Mountains wine region offers the ideal place to grow high-quality grapes and produce distinct terroir-driven wines. You'll receive a case of Santa Cruz Mountains wines, including 3 2012 House Family Vineyards Chardonnay, 2013 Windy Oaks Pinot Noir Estate Cuvée Schultz Family Vineyard, 2012 Burrell School Cabernet Franc Estate, Pichon Vineyards, Extra Credit, and 2012 Cabernet Sauvignon Lucchese Vineyards, Dean's List. Three Kings Mountains Vineyards, Bacchus Pinot Noir, Estate Grown. Three Silver Mountain Vineyards, Pinot Noir, Miller Hill Vineyard. Two Santa Cruz Mountains passports are included. On the third Saturday of January, April, July, and November, passport holders can visit participating wineries throughout the region with an opportunity to meet the legendary winemakers of the Santa Cruz Mountains. You'll have a two-night stay for two at the newly renovated Chaminade Resort and Spa, a spectacular mountaintop retreat with sweeping views of the Monterey Bay and the Santa Cruz Mountains. Enjoy color palettes inspired by the California coast, contemporary Spanish furnishings, and world-class amenities. Enjoy dinner at Santa Cruz's Assembly Restaurant, offering rustic California cuisine based on local, seasonal, and sustainably sourced ingredients. That's item number 7212, our Santa Cruz Mountains Wine Growers. Welcome to the Santa Cruz Mountains, valued at $16.59. Current bid on that $825. Be sure to give us a call quickly as we move to the silver, silver board. board. Silver board, silver one board. On. You're right. Well, item number 7029. 
and it's a value of $940. Uh, it's two nights, midweek for two. The bid is, current bid is 525, and that's item number 7029. 7074 is the Santa Cruz Mountain Brewing Company, and that's a lifetime jug club membership. The value is $750. The current bid is $375. And that's item number 7074. The next item up is 7177, and that's the George Wine Company. It's a mixed case of Pinot Noir. The value is $700, and the bid currently is $450. The next item up is 7110. It's the Scott Harvey Wines, Napa Valley and Amador County. It's two nights for six in the Shenandoah Valley private tour and wine. The value is $825. The current value is five, the current bid is $525. And uh, one more item on the silver board here is the Gacio family. Uh, vineyards, it's item 7061, and they are located in Healdsburg. It's six, 70, uh, six 750 milliliter bottles of 2012 Chianti Station presented in a wood box with logo. The value is $600. Current bid is $450, and that is it for the silver board, which closes tonight. Great. Richard, thank you very much. Okay. Lots of great items up there, and we're going to take a look at the bronze board. Now, this is only available tonight. This is our piano flight in San Francisco, item number 7171. Watch this. Piano Fight is the core offbeat performance hub of downtown San Francisco with a full-service bar and restaurant and two intimate theaters staging all new work by local artists. An eclectic mix of 30 performances per week range from world premiere plays to sketch, stand-up and improv comedy to modern dance, variety shows, live music, film screenings, game shows, podcasts and more. Plus, there's usually a live band playing on the cabaret stage before and after shows. With the Piano Fight Unlimited Annual Membership, you can see all the shows you like free of charge through the end of 2017. Each member is entitled to one ticket to any show and discounted access to private events. Gorge on local art and curly fries. And remember, just like food, locally sourced art keeps you healthy. For 7171, valued at $480. Uh, current, looking for an opening bid on that of $200. Looks like a great time as we move to... The showcase items, our showcase item number 7240 is our Appalachian uh, St. Helena, one case of St. Helena wines and adventures. You can't beat that. Valued at 1725. Watch this. St. Helena has the distinction of being the birthplace of the Napa Valley wine industry. Your case of Appalachian St. Helena wines includes 2011 St. Helena Winery Estate Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon from the 2012 vintage are Corley Ewell Vineyard, Behringer Single Vineyard, Home Vineyard, Young Inglewood Estate Cabernet, 2012 and 2013 Engel Family Vineyards, Rock Mountain Vineyard. Also from the 2013 vintage, Alpha Omega Cabernet Sauvignon Beckstoffer, Las Piedras, Stanton Vineyards, Petit Syrah, Crocker Star Casali 6th Edition, 69% Malbec, 25% Cabernet Franc, Spotswood Estate Grown Cabernet Sauvignon, Chase Hain Vineyard Zinfandel, Levinson Cabernet Sauvignon, an exclusive small lot release. Also included are tastings at these wineries. Experience a private tour and tasting at Alpha Omega Winery. The beauty of this modern farm style winery is as captivating as its wine. Ehlers Estate Vineyards are certified organic and cultivated using biodynamic farming techniques, producing exceptional wines. You'll have a private guided tour through Hall's Winery Grounds, taste current releases, and discover their state-of-the-art winemaking facility. Cliff Family Winery offers a bruschetta and wine tasting trio paired with their limited production wines. And at Beneseri Vineyards, you and a guest will enjoy a selection of their fine Italian varietals with cheeses. Included is a bottle of Sangiovese. Is item number 72. Four zero, our Appalachian St. Helena, one case of St. Helena wines and adventures. Current bid on that, $850. Watch where this goes as we move to Larry, who's going to take us to a brand new green board. Well, actually, the green board we're going to see for a second time. We oh, have some, sorry. We, oh, that's okay. I, I, you, both you that. and I need an adventure, I, I think, and we'll be better. Let's take a look at the, uh, the green board. This is going to close pretty quickly. This closes tonight. 
So don't hesitate on this. The very first item here, number 7224, uh, is the two bottles of booze. It's a Stein distillery of Joseph, Oregon. You get both a rye whiskey. It's called the Straight Ram Rye Whiskey. And then the Straight Ram, uh, or excuse me, the Straight Bull Bourbon. People are hot after this one. We've got a bit of $85 on this already. Uh, people who like uh, specially brewed small lot bourbons and, uh, and rye whiskeys, I'll tell you, this is where you want to go. Next item, and this is the one where we need a bid. We have a bid on everything else. It's item number 7156. It's your choice. It's a, essentially uh, a gift card. It has a value of $100, and you get to go to Nana Lim. It's all GMO free, dairy free, gluten free. You get soups, broths, and convenient meals using the freshest of local organic ingredients, and they're inspired by uh, Asian uh, influences. There, you just saw them there, just looking for $50. What a treat that would be, a nice gift also. Number 7156. Uh, next item, here's a private wine and food experience for two at Ashton Vineyards. It's item number 7185. Uh, you're going to have uh, Stephen Ashton. Uh, with, uh, he's going to give you an informal wine education. It's a small family-owned organic uh, producer of Pinot Noir and Syrah. Uh, it's a private wine and food experience for two, value of $150, and we're looking uh, to just best that $65 bid right now, item number 7185. Next item on the green board, Della Rose uh, of San Francisco. We currently have a $50 bid on that. Uh, it's a gift card for $100, and you can uh, go to a, a couple of different places in San Francisco, both uh, the Marina District and the Financial District for Della Rose. Some great small plates, Roman-style pizza, great wines, craft cocktails. Don't miss this. It's like buying money when you buy these gift cards. So you're uh, $50 ahead already. Hey, that's item number 7210. Remember, this green board is going to close tonight, so you only have a short time. To get your bids in there. Stan, you're ready to bid on that one, aren't you? Absolutely. I've got my checkbook, my credit card ready to go. We are live from the North Bay. It's the Bay Area Wine and Epicurean Auction, and we're just moving right through here. If you're a foodie, you're going to want to check this one out. You can steal this one for $250, and it's going to be gone later tonight. Uh, it's item number 7134. Explore San Francisco, the Mission Food and Drink Tour for four. Uh, take three of your friends on this one in the Mission District. Celebration of the Culinary Arts, a world-class dining destination. You know, one of the capitals of the foodie world. That's San Francisco. Uh, your guide is from the neighborhood, knows all the owners and the staff of the places you're going to visit. It's kind of the, one of those hole-in-the-wall tours that you'll remember for years. It's a walking tour, no transportation provided, but a lot of memories on this one. So give us a call right now, 1-800-287-2722, the number on your screen, or go uh, to the website and uh, bid on bronze item 7134. All right. Larry is back. It's the Larry and Stan show at the moment. <laughs> We're going to uh, see uh, <laughs> another one of the gold boards here. And yeah. these, we have a couple of days on these. These are going to close Sunday night, but it's never too soon to bid. So this is a good time to get right in there. Go to krcb.org or call that number on your screen. Let's look in the gold board, uh, item number 7213. It's LB Steak on Santana Row. It's a chef's dinner for eight with wine pairings. What a great way to bring the entire office down there or your family or, or your friends, or maybe your family and friends. They might be both. LB Steaks is a contemporary American steakhouse showcasing naturally raised prime meats, line caught fish, and only the freshest local and organically grown produce. Uh, chef Roland Passat combines his much celebrated culinary creativity with bold American flavors, uh, handcrafted cocktails and an elegant wine list, uh, perfectly complement savory entrees prepared with utmost respect for the ingredients. Your dinner for eight will include the chef's menu and wine pairings. Tax and gratuity not included. And it's going to be arranged for a mutually agreeable date. Uh, and it's good through September 18th, 2017. That's item number 7-2. One three on the gold board. 
uh, and we need uh, uh, just a best uh, of over $675 uh, to be online for that one. Next item, item number 7235, Brown Estate. It's a California wine club membership. Uh, Brown Estate uh, began farming enterprise cultivating 50 acres of Zinfandel, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Chardonnay grapes. And they have been selling them to established producers. Uh, they soon realized that they should be making their own wine. And a story in 2000 ran in the wine spectator called A Family Affair. They turned their weekend project to an outstanding Napa Valley Zinfandel. Brown Estate produces a variety of vineyard-specific Zinfandel, Petit Syrah, Cabernet Sauvignon, port-style dessert wines, and Sauvignon Blanc. With the California Club membership, you're going to receive two bottles of one wine per month for January through October and two different celebration magnums. These are the double-sized bottles for November and December. Shipping is included. You're also going to receive a 10% discount on all wines, purchases, uh, complimentary tours and tasting admission for eight people per year and immediate access to Brown Estate event tickets. You must have a California address to ship to. What a deal on that. It's a value of $1,500, currently $775 bid on that item number 7235. Next item, uh, Cardinello Winery in Mendota, California. Dinner and wine tasting for 10 and a case of wine. Has a value of $2,300 uh, and currently looking to get this one opened at $1,050. They're immigrants from Tuscany. The Cardinella family uh, carries a Tuscan passion for food and wine. Their wines have a solid sense of terroir and have earned numerous awards in international wine competitions. You and up to nine guests have an evening in Tuscany and enjoy the dinner and wine tasting at the winery with the winemaker. Your dinner includes soup or salad, a main course and dessert, each paired with a different varietal. Enjoy the rich wines aged in a subterranean cellar Share the history of Tuscany, backlit by the Central California Coast Range. Right now, you'll receive a case of Cardinella Winery's premium wines that include three 2012 Sangioveses, a 2015 Rosato, a 2015 Chardonnay from Sophia's Vineyard, and a special edition. Uh, also, two 2011 Ruby Cabernets, a 2012 Barbera, 2011 Syrah, a 2014 Malbec, a 2000, that's more than 12, I think, a 2011 Merlot, a 2013 Pinot Grigio, also included, our four tickets to the fall, uh, very special party at the winery on Sunday, October 9th, the Schizo di Vino. That's item number 7241, Cardinella, that's in Mendota, California, uh, wine tasting, wine, uh, group for 10 can be there, and a case. It's valued at $2,300. Let's open that one up at $1,050. Stan, we're right back to you now. Well, thank you, Larry. And, uh, you know, everybody's bidding tonight here at the big auction, and let's close the green board. The green board is closed. I hope you had a winning bid on that one. If not, stick around, because there'll be another board coming along that you like. Make sure you're playing at home. For instance, here's a platinum item. The Guy Buffet Productions, and these, oh, we have so many people that are anxious to uh, grab one of these. This one happens to be a gathering of connoisseurs. Guy Buffet takes the observer into his work both visually and emotionally. His intention is to create a moment where one can rediscover the beauty and gaiety of life. A Gathering of Connoisseurs is a hand-pulled lithograph and was printed by Arts Litho in Paris. The image is 21 inches by 31 inches. It is a printer's proof with remark numbered 2 of 10 and is signed by the artist. The lithograph is matted in beige linen and has an intricate gold-colored frame. With frame, it measures 35 and a half inches high by 45 inches wide. A certificate of addition is included, must be picked up at KRCB in Rohner Park, not available for shipping. That picture. I love that painting, and somebody can steal it right now, literally for 1350. 
So uh, put your bid up there right now, the Guy Buffet, and it's item number 7031. It'll be here until Sunday night, and uh, then it's gone. And let it be yours. All right, we've got one more time with uh, Larry and uh, Goldborg. Hey, Stan, we're looking at this Goldborg for a second time. Uh, remember, these items close on Sunday, so get your bid in. We've had some good action on these already. Let's take a look at the very first one on Gold One. It's the Trincaro Family Estates of St. Helena. Bocce, wine, food, and uh, friends. Uh, you have uh, a group of eight people invited to the winery. Currently, we have a bid of $775. You're going to go to the Wine and Food Center. It's usually open to just professionals, but they opened their door to guests. Uh, you can reserve for a Wednesday, Thursday, or Saturday. August, September, and October are excluded on this. But you're going to play bocce. You're going to have uh, great seasonal lunch prepared by their chefs. Uh, this is uh, the uh, Trin Trincaro Family Estates of St. Helena, bocce, wine, food, and friends. Item number 7006. Next item here on the gold board, item number 7030. Uh, Guy Buffet. It's uh, once again one of their great uh, framed, they call them a Guy Slee, uh, Cafe de Fleurs. Let's see if we have a picture of that. I think we do. Uh, it's on canvas. The printing was done by Maui Guy Slee in the Bay Lab. There they are. The image size is 24 by 30 inches. It's numbered one of 300 and is signed by the artist. So you have a, an absolute uh, piece of artwork there. Uh, we're looking um, at uh, a value of $2,040. Currently, the bid is $850. Uh, and if you are looking to get something to hang on the wall that's going to remind you of food and wine, there's the one. And it's a legitimate work of art. Uh, one of the things that you have to pick up at the studio here in Rohnert Park, California. Next item, item number 7072 from Beachcomber Hotels on the Mendocino Coast. Eight nights, and there are three hotels you can choose from. Uh, it has a, a, uh, a value of $1,272. We're already at $1,000 for this. Four nights stay at the Beachcomber, Ho Beachcomber Hotel uh, and Spa on the beach. Two nights stay at the Surf and Sand Lodge. Uh, two nights stay at the Beach House Inn. All stays are valid uh, for a king room or two queens. Valid Sunday through Thursday until May 1st, 2018. So you have time to use this. What a great way to get away. Uh, you have um, eight midweek nights. Uh, take off and enjoy your time in Mendocino, California. Uh, this item number is 7032. Uh, and currently we're looking uh, at a bid of, it says 800, but I, oh, well, we're not on that one right now. We're, we're back to Guy Buffet. Uh, but uh, it's uh, currently a bit of uh, $1,000. Here's the next item. It's item number 7032. Uh, Guy Buffet uh, Productions again. And this is wine tasting. It's a framed lithograph. Uh, we need an opening of $800 on this. And it's numbered number 441 of 500. Beautiful black and gold frame, uh, white linen matting. It measures 31 inches by 47 inches and it is signed by the artist. It must be picked up here at KRCB. Uh, easy to find in Rohnert Park, California. It's item number 7032. Uh, just open this one up at $800. This is going to last you the rest of your life. Stan, we're back to you. All right, thank you so much. Uh, take a look at those items and uh, those Guy Buffet giclés. Uh, how do you like that? Huh? Yeah, a giclé. I don't even know what that means. But let's not go into it right now. We have a showcase item to show you. So here we go. It's item 7119, the Wine Road, Northern Sonoma County. Oh, this is a great story. Check this out. You'll receive two tickets to these Wine Road events, the Wine and Food Affair, November 5th and 6th, Winter Wineland in January, and the 40th Annual Barrel Tasting, March 3rd through the 5th. And get to know the Wine Road even better with a one-night midweek stay at the Courtyard by Marriott in Santa Rosa. Visit Miriam Vineyards in Hillsburg and enjoy a private tour and sit-down wine tasting for up to eight people. You'll cross cultures tasting their California-crafted French-style wines in their beautifully appointed tasting room. 
You'll also visit the Battaglini Estate Winery in Santa Rosa and taste award-winning wines from 135-year-old vines and have a personal tour of the vineyards from the winemaker proprietor. Other items with which to celebrate Wine Road's 40th anniversary are one 750-milliliter bottle each of Papa Pietro Perry 2012 Pinot Noir and Mount's Family Winery 2013 Vera Blanc, two Rydell Red Wine Glasses, the book Sonoma Photography by Andy Katz, her finishing salt gift box, Robert Young Estate Winery Apron, and Wine Road logo items including a custom barrel stave cloth. Oh, the showcase item, the Wine Road, Northern Sonoma County. By the way, there's a great Wine Road film by John Beck that I hope we're going to premiere right here at KRCB soon. Mm -hmm. So stay where you are, but don't stay where you are. You got to bid. It's a you got to play along here. You know, call the number on your screen. If you missed anything, anything at all, any of the videos, any of the items, you can go to krcb.org/slash. Auction and check them all out right there and Absolutely. make your bids right there, too. Absolutely. All right, we've got uh, Richard back here with right. Silver Boy. Yes, Stan, it's wonderful. We're back here again. We've got the Silver 2, which is going to be closing on Sunday night. And the first item up is uh, item 7092 from the Parducci Wine Cellars in Ukiah. It's two nights for four and wine. The value is uh, 1270 The current bid is $675. You'll have two nights stay at the Parducci exclusive guest house during your stay. You'll tour their historic winery and enjoy tasting of their award-winning wines. The Italian architecture, style of their tasting room and guest house, imparts an old-world charm and a warm, relaxed atmosphere. You'll receive one bottle each of the 2014 True Grit Reserve Chardonnay and the 2013 True Grit Reserve Petit Syrah. And you know something, Stan, I would really like to hear those phones uh, ringing a little yes. more, wouldn't you? I'd really like that, uh, the, that sound. Uh, and that's, uh, okay, that's the Parducci, and that's uh, item number 7092. Moving along to seven, item 7112, that's from, uh, provided by 1022 in Sacramento. It's a contemporary four-course beer dinner for 10. And we have the current uh, bid of 325, the value is... 650 on that one. And it's located, uh, 1022 is located in the heart of Old Sacramento and prides itself on award winning cuisine and superior quality beers. Uh, Chef J.C. Verger, um, who received the classical French training from the French Academy of Culinary Arts, offers a quote unquote new American menu. And that's uh, to be arranged uh, for a mutual agreeable date. Holidays in December are excluded. That's 7112. Moving along here on the silver board, we have item 7115. Uh, a friend of KRCB has uh, made a donation of seven bottles of vertical Gunlock Bunshu Vintage Reserve. The value is $700. And the current bid is $450, bid increments are $50. You'll receive three bottles of 2010 vintage and two bottles each from the 2011 and 2012 vintages. These limited bottlings are primarily Cabernet Sauvignon with smaller amounts of Cabernet Franc, Petit Verdot, and Malbec. They are well cellared uh, for up to 20 years. Uh, the, uh, we've got the two 2010 Vintage Reserve, which is deeply layered. We've got the 2011 Vintage Reserve, has aromas of blackberries, black spice, dried lavender, and de Jarling tea. The 2012 Vintage Reserve uh, received 94 points from the Robert Parker Jr.'s, quote unquote, the wine advocate. That's item 7115. The current bid is $450. Moving right along here, we've got item number 7135. It's the Boutique Wine Tours from Kenwood, and they're offering a six hour luxury wine tour for six and the value is $750. The current bid is $375. Uh, you'll tour either Sonoma or Napa wine country in a beautiful six-passenger Lincoln stretch limousine. Uh, these folks have cultivated countless relationships with a wide variety of winery owners, winemakers, small boutique properties, and even the VIP ultra premium wine estates. This includes a bottle of premium champagne, and there are blackout dates that apply to this. 
and that's item 7135 on the silver board, which will close on Sunday night. The last item that I have for you is item 7230, and that's the Motion Vineyards in Healdsburg, two nights for two in the guest suite and more. The value is $650. The current bid is $525. Bid increments are $50. Motion specializes in small lot handcrafted wines, including Pinot Noir, that's their specialty, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay Merlot, Petit Syrah, and Zinfandel. Motion Vineyards farming methods are sustainable and they have established energy saving practices through the use of gravity flow and solar energy. How ecologically uh, responsible. Uh, you'll have an in-depth tour uh, of the four-tier gravity flow winery along with an extended tasting. Motion Vineyards is a non-smoking property. No pets, please. And right. that closes the silver board. All right. Thank you, Richard. I hope uh, you found something you really liked and you make your uh, bid. Make it high. Make it now. Don't wait around because somebody's going to sneak in. We're all over the Bay Area. People bidding against you. It's the big auction. We've got platinum. Platinum right now. Let's check out what the platinum item is. This is 7107. We don't have a bid on this yet, which means you can... Uh, no, actually, we do have a bid on that. There you go. This is Hellwig Winery in Plymouth, California. Two nights, midweek for 12. You got 11 friends? Check this video out. Hellwig Winery is a new state-of-the-art winery located in the heart of picturesque Shenandoah Valley. With their award-winning world-class wines, unique wine caves, unparalleled hospitality, and miles of views, Hellwig Winery is the quintessential wine country experience. You'll stay at the breathtaking Devancy Chateau, located on Hellwig Winery's estate, with six bedrooms, gourmet kitchen, game room complete with 90-inch flat-screen TV, and laptop pool, Devancy Chateau is the idyllic place to relax in the wine country. From the hand-placed slate roof to the wood beams on the ceiling, every detail is impeccable. Chilled sparkling wine will greet you on check-in and a farm-to-fork cheese basket with local fresh baked bread will be provided by the Foxes Inn. You and your guests will also receive a complimentary wine tasting at Hellwig Winery in the private tasting room, where you can enjoy your cheese basket and savor Hellwig's wines. All right, so there you go. Now, we still need a bid there, as I was uh, correct the first time around. That could be your number up there, so um, don't let that slip away. That's going to be here till Sunday night. Make that yours, all right? Give us a bid right now. Give us a call on the number on your screen. All right, Larry's back, and uh, we've got a gold board that's cooking here. Stan, we looked at this once before. We're going to take another quick look at it. Remember, the gold board closes on Sunday night, so get your bid in now and see if on Sunday you have a big smile on your face. First... Uh, item on the gold board, item number 7034. It's Guy Buffet Productions. Uh, that's out of Rio Vista, California. And this is California Early Days. I think we'll get a look at this pretty quickly. Uh, there it is. Great. Uh, so he does some great work, this guy. Uh, he's uh, uh, doing an image here that's 24 by 30 inches. Uh, he comes from the Beaux-Arts of Toulon, which harbored Chagall, Matisse, Picasso, and Toulouse, Lautrec. It's matted in linen, black and gold frame. The total size of this is 38 by 48 inches. The certificate is included and it is signed. That's a value of $1,900. Currently, we have a bid of $800 on this one. It's item number 7034, uh, Guy Buffet. Next item, CNS Imports of Pico Rivera, California. And this is a special 375 milliliter bottle of 15 year old Kui Chao uh, of Mu Tai. It's um, Mao Tai is presented in a lovely decorative box. I think they're going to show you that. Uh, the, this is a Bai Zhou. It's a product that is the favorite uh, selling liquor in all of China. And this one is smooth, mellow, yet complex. Long lasting on the palate. This is a luxury gift. If you know people who are into Chinese spirits, here you go. You can get the best gift ever for them. It's item number 7164. It comes from CNS Importers of Pico Rivera. Uh, a bid of $600 is the current bid on that, a value of $1,300. The next, item number 7208, the Culinary Institute of America, 
uh, at Copia. They're opening the new restaurant there, and they're going to give you dinner for six. Uh, truly amazing dining experience at the new restaurant at Copia. Uh, Chef Victor Scargill, small plates presented and served tableside by their team of chefs. It's a little bit like dim sum. Uh, you, they're going to bring dishes to the table for diners to share. They're also going to uh, pair that with some fascinating wines. This is valid until September 1st, 2017. Dinner for six, value of $1,000, and currently a $650 bid on this gold board. The next uh, item, item number 7079, Dolphin Bay Resort and Spa at Pismo Beach. Uh, it has a value of $1,200, and currently we have an $875 bid on it. You get a 1,000-square-foot, one-bedroom, oceanfront suite. Stunning direct views of the ocean. These luxury suites are equipped with kitchens, custom-designed living areas, premium linens, king beds, flat-screen TVs. Dolphin Bay's prime location acts as a central base for numerous activities in the area. Golfing, kayaking, surfing, Hearst Castle, wine tasting. Uh, the winner is responsible for a $25 per night fee, uh, a resort fee at Pismo Beach. That's once again item number 7079. Uh, it is two nights, four two in a one bedroom suite uh, at the Dolphin Bay Resort. Uh, and Stan, we're back to you. Thank you, Larry, for a good look at that uh, current gold board. I hope you found something you like and you put your bid on. Call our volunteers right now. The number's on your screen. Now we're going to wing through some very high-end items here. This is our showcase, item number 7218. Check this out. In Livermore the Valley is undergoing a wine renaissance. Welcoming tasting rooms showcase award-winning wines and offer year-round activities, as does the Livermore Valley Wine Growers Association. You'll have a two-night weekday stay for two people at the Purple Orchid Wine Country Resort and Spa with the best available King Suite in the main lodge. Breakfast and the gathering table, wine and olive oil hour, are included. You'll dine at Gari Cafe, featuring California cuisine with a Mediterranean influence, and at Campo di Bocci, an Italian ristorante, bar, and bocce club. Experience a reserve tasting and a barrel tasting for six at McGrail Vineyards and Winery, recent sweepstakes red wine winner at the San Francisco Chronicle Wine Competition. And Concanon Vineyards invites you for a tour and tasting for up to eight people. The San Francisco premium outlets in Livermore provide gift cards from Ghirardelli Chocolate, Kitchen Collection, Columbia Sportswear, and Samsonite. And you'll also receive a case of Livermore Valley Wines to be picked up at the time of your visit at the Livermore Valley Wine Country Office. Watching us right now in the East Bay, that could be yours. Check that out. That's the Livermore Valley Wine Country, and uh, we've got an $800 bid. That should go for at least $1,000, so make sure that's yours. All right, now we've got a platinum item. This is a platinum item number 7033. Again, one of these beautiful Guy Buffet paintings. This is uh, La Sommiere. Uh, the artist proof framed lithographed and uh, this one right now no bid on this one you've got to see this one and uh, you want to put this one in your home it's a value of three thousand dollars make us an offer at thirteen hundred born in paris guy buffet studied at the beaux-arts de toulon which once harbored the artist chagall matisse picasso and toulouse lautrec Le Samoyer is a hand-pulled lithograph printed by Arts Litho Paris. The image size is 25 inches by 19 inches. Only 50 artist proofs were made and this one is numbered 10 of 50. It is signed by the artist. Le Samoyer has a beige linen matting with a black frame. Frame the size is 38 inches high by 31 inches wide. A certificate of addition is included. Must be picked up at KRCB in Rohnert Park, not available for shipping. All of these items that you're looking at right now are going to be here till Sunday night, and then somebody's going to steal this one. So make us an offer at 1300 on item number 7033 on the platinum board, that beautiful Guy Buffet uh, painting. All right, we've got showcase item now. Our next item, this is 7175, and we do have a bit of $1,000. It's worth twice that much. The Carneros Wine Alliance. It's a wines and winery experience. Check this out.
All right, now this is uh, something you'll definitely want to check out. If you uh, have a problem with the video, which I guess we're having right now, remember you can go to krcb.org and uh, watch all the videos, as a matter of fact, and place your bids right there. That's krcb.org slash auction and make your bid or give us a call right now at 1-800-287-2722. All right, our next item for bid is on the platinum board. It's item number 7077. This is Elite Island Resorts at Palm Island Resort in the Grenadines. Seven nights, two rooms for two to four people. And we have um, we need a bit of a little more than we've got. Check this out. Imagine basking in the sun on your own private island, steps from the warm turquoise waters of the Caribbean. Palm Island Resort is an oasis of tropical serenity known for its stunning natural beauty. Located on the southern tip of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, your Palm View rooms feature sitting areas and private furnished terraces overlooking either the pool or gardens. You'll have a spacious bath, air conditioning, mini bar, and daily housekeeping and nightly turndown service. Palm Island Resort provides personal service and superb cuisine carefully crafted to highlight the best of local Caribbean specialties and international flavors. At the elegant Royal Palm Restaurant, you'll enjoy beautiful ocean views and sea breezes along with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Located right on the sand, the Sunset Grill offers an array of local and international delights with a distinct Caribbean flair. Your gift certificate provides seven nights accommodations, double occupancy for up to two rooms. However, your certificate is transferable to other select elite island resorts, so you can choose to use one room at the Palm Island and use the second room at a different resort. There you go. That's item 777, 7077, and uh, that's one you definitely want to bid on. It'll be here with us until Sunday night, and then someone's going to take that away for way less than it's worth. So uh, remember, you're supporting KRCB when you make a high bid here at the big auction. And finally, the bronze board. This is item 7150, Hagafen Cellars in Napa. Uh, it's a tour and a tasting for six. This is really an enjoyable place, especially if you go around the holidays. Check this one out. Located adjacent to the Stag's Leap and Oak Knoll districts, Hagafen Cellars is the ideal location for the growth and production of ripe, rich, intensely fruity, small lot estate bottled wines. Since 1980, Hagafen's wines have been served on numerous occasions at the White House during state dinners. Owner and winemaker Ernie Weir's daily involvement in both grape growing and winemaking ensures the superb quality of the wines. During your tour and tasting at the winery, you can choose to taste wine from any of Ernie Weir's three labels, Hagafen, Pre, or Don Ernesto. You'll leave with a case of Hagafen Cellars 2012 Napa Valley Cabernet Franc. The fleshy, supple nose of this exquisite wine wows you with violets, red currants, and rose. The mouth bursts with flavors of the deep forest glen, rich earth, deep dark black cherries, and rose hips. This is a CCOF certified organically grown vineyard source. A case of wine can be shipped at your expense. Vintage and or varietals are subject to change. Tours are held in the morning only, Sunday through Friday. Holidays excluded. Valid until September 18th, 2017. All right, now make us an offer right now that beats 350, and this item is going to go away tonight, actually. So um, don't hesitate. Make that call. Bronze item, 7150, Hagafen Cellars over in Napa. Larry is back as we check one more gold board look. Stan, it's uh, the... I think the second look at this part of the gold board, we're going to go through it real quickly and start with item number 7217 from Deerfield Ranch Winery in Kenwood. You get an estate tasting for six plus six bottles of the 1999 DRX Meritage wine. Uh, those wines are terrific. Good way to flush out your cellar and some good drinking going on when you pop one of those bottles. That's item number 7071. A value of $2,295, currently with a bid of $1,025. Next item on this gold board. Remember, this closes Sunday night. <clears throat> item number, it's going to come around on the screen in just a second. Item number 7076, Elite Island Resorts in Antigua. Seven nights, two rooms, so you can have either two or four people. It has a value of... $2,800 currently with a bid of $1,250. You split this up as you like, like a lot of uh, options on the rooms for the Elite Island Resorts, St. James Club, and Villas in Antigua. 
Uh, next item, item number 7209, the Culinary Institute of America at Copia. They're reopening it and you're going to have a private wine tasting experience in the Reserve Tasting Salon for four. It has a value of $2,000 and right now a bid of $1,000, item number 7209. And we're right back. Here we are. Here we are. Oh, here my goodness. Go. Thank you. I was getting ready, and now I'm ready. Thanks very much, Larry. we got lots of great items on that board. Take care. And we're going to take a look at item, at, uh, item number 7140 on the Platinum Board. This is our scenic luxury, luxury cruises and tours in France. Seven-night cruise for two, the Bordeaux Affair. The scenic diamond, an intimate and cutting-edge scenic spaceship, provides the ultimate in all-inclusive luxury. Visit the beautiful 13th-century port of Libourne and spend the afternoon in saint emilion the jewel of this ancient wine-growing region. Then enjoy a glass of wine at the exclusive estate of Chateau Suriac. The next day, explore the elite Chateau Franc Man, tasting Grand Cru class wine, or view the eclectic city of Bergerac. Soak in the riverside panoramas while cruising to Payoc. You'll travel the scenic Medoc wine route with its many fine chateaux. Dinner is an unforgettable experience with Grand Cru class wines at the charming 18th century Farm Suzanne on the Giscour estate. The following day brings Cadillac with some of the most beautiful scenic cruising in the Bordeaux region. Taste wine in the Sauterne region at the prestigious Chateau Giraud or the Grand Cru class estate of Chateau Mirat, or visit Roquetillade Castle, founded by Charlemagne. On your final evening in Bordeaux, you'll have a special dinner showcasing regional delicacies before an illuminations cruise on the Garonne River. That is item number 7140 as we move very quickly to our next showcase item. This is item number 7212. This is our Santa Cruz Mountains wine growers. Welcome to Santa Cruz Mountains. Valued at $1,659. Current bid on that, $825. Watch this. Immigrants who settled in the Santa Clara Valley during the 1840s recognized the rich soils and the Mediterranean climate as the perfect New World home for their European grape varietals. Your case of Santa Clara Valley wines includes two 2013 Lion Ranch Vineyards and Winery Vognier, two 2012 Sunlit Oaks Winery Sangiovese, from Martin Ranch, two 2013 wines, a Sangiovese and a Carignan, a 2012 Sartori Oso Zin and 2011 Sartori Merlot of the Violet Flame, from Solus Winery, two 2012 wines, a Petit Verdot and Syrah. From Syrah Vineyards, a 2012 Charbonneau and a 2013 Pinot Noir Estate. Relax in luxury with a two-night stay for two at Gilroy's Best Western Plus Forest Park Inn. You'll enjoy dinner at both Odium Restaurants in Morgan Hill and the Melius Restaurant in Gilroy. Breakfast at Cafe 152 Bread Company. Also included are two tickets for Lumination at Gilroy Gardens. You'll also receive two passports for wineries of Santa Clara Valley Fall Passport Weekend. On Friday, September 30th, you'll taste wine from member wineries and sample food from local restaurants. On the weekend, member wineries host passport holders on property. That is item number 7212, Santa Cruz Mountains Wine Growers, uh, valued at $1,659. Current bid on that, $825. Looking for a great time as we move into uh, Shafiq, who has a gold. You're going to review the gold board for right. us. Yeah. It's great to see you. Welcome. Thank you. It's nice to be here again. <clears throat> okay, first item on the gold board is item 7193, donated by Varotza Vineyards in St. Helena. It's a case of one case of 2010 limited production Cabernet Sauvignon has a value of $960. Wow, we've got a bit of $750. Somebody knows that this is the right thing to buy. This is a state-grown St. Helena, Napa Valley. Only 250 cases were produced. Uh, this is a dry farmed and sustainably managed. Varotza Vineyard delivers unparalleled concentration and elegant elegance to its fruits and its signature wines. Like many older Cabernet Sauvignon vineyards in the Napa Valley, the vines have a limited yield, and these vines are by far the most concentrated and balanced of their peers. 
The berries are at best the size of a blueberry, but with thick, tough skins and loaded with color and tannin. The tannins are incredibly well structured, but integrated into the wine with such finesse you would think it was made of silk. That's item 7193 by Varozza Vineyards. Give us a call and uh, bid $825 and make that one yours and support public broadcasting here. Next item on the gold board is 7143, donated by Ancient Oak Cellars in Santa Rosa. This has a value of $1,092, and we have a bid of $750 on this one, too. This is three cases, a tasting, and lunch for two. Ancient Oaks celebrated winemaker Greg LaFollette brings extensive experience and a hands-on approach to their wines. You'll receive three cases of wine. The 2013 Russian River Valley Chardonnay with a lovely citrus, baked apple, and honey tones, a rich mouthfeel, and a long finish. <coughs> Excuse me. The 2011 Russian River Valley Zinfandel, a classic Zinfandel, which got a gold medal in the 2014 San Francisco Chronicle Wine Competition. And the 2011 Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon has classic cab aromas of blackberry cassis and brambles, followed by flavors of black fruits and some earthy characters. Included is a tasting and lunch for two at Ancient Oak Cellars and Downtown Delhi. That's item 7143, a current bid of $750. Come raise that bid up and support this public broadcasting station. The next item on the gold board is 7221, donated by Cardinale Winery in Oakville. It has a value of $1,500. Wow, a bit of $1,200. Somebody else really likes this one, too. This is a th this is three liter 2012 Cardinale and a VIP tasting for four. <clears throat> The 2012 blend of Cardinale Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon was 84% Cabernet, 16% Merlot, with 94% New French oak used. With enormous complexity and richness, as well as full-bodied power and voluptuousness, it is a wine of exceptional purity, intensity, and well-integrated acidity, alcohol, and tannin and wood. <clears throat> also included is an intimate VIP tasting for four people at the winery. That's item 7221, donated by Cardinale Winery. And the last item on this is item 7145, donated by Ravenswood Winery in Sonoma, a value of $1,500. Wow, we have an overbid on this one, $1,525 is the current bid. Hooray. This is a three-bottle, six-liter horizontal uh, two of 2,000 Zinfandel. <coughs> Excuse me. One six-liter each from the following vineyards, Old Hill Ranch, Bariccia Vineyards, and Bologna Vineyards. A unique Old Hill Ranch vineyard in Sonoma, Valley, no pesticides or irrigation are employed. The Old Hill Zinfandel is dark and rich with provocative flavors and blackberries, mint, and black pepper. The color of the 2000 Bariccia Zinfandel is a beautiful ruby garnet, and scents are of warm blackberry pie, leather, smoked chocolate, and anise. A soft round wine whose gentle mouthfeel disguises power and heft. And due to the long ripening time and penetrating intervals of afternoon sun, the bologna zinfandel is deeply colored with an intense odor and the flavor character of boysenberries and blueberries, mingled with the traditional spice and smoky characteristics of zinfandel. So uh, give us a bid. Uh, let's bid this one up and get a real bidding war going on this one. And that's our look at the gold board. Great. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to go ahead and move to the purple board. I do want to introduce you to Doug Jane, who's an FM radio host at on uh, KRCB at midday. Right? Hello. Yeah, from noon to two every hey, day hey. on KRCB there you FM. Go. There you go. So. You're going to tell us about Purple Board. Yeah, indeed. We've got item number 7040. It's a 37 wines from Sonoma. It's a solid gold six-pack with a value of $156. We need an opening bid of $75. Uh, the six-pack has uh, bottles from the 2013 vintage, including a Chardonnay Reserve, a double gold medal winner, 95 points from the San Francisco International Wine Competition. These wines are all gold medal winners and received at least 20, 91 points. The Pinot Grigio, a medal awarded by San Francisco International Wine Competition, only 180 cases produced. And Albarino, they got a gold medal and best of class, Sonoma County Harvest Fair, 150 cases made. A Pinot Noir, a double gold medal, Sonoma County Harvest Fair, 185 cases made. A Grenache, medal awarded by San Francisco International Wine Competition, only 65 cases produced. And a Syrah, also awarded by the San Francisco International Wine Competition, 135 cases made. Uh, we're looking for an opening bid of 75 smackers on that one. 
Next up, number item number 7204. It's from Raft Distillery on Treasure Island. It's a dry gin, absinthe, and Barbary Coast rum agricole with a value of $137. We are up to a $90 current bid, and uh, we, so we're looking for a $100 bid on this. this. Uh, there, the Raft Distillery was founded in 2011 by master distiller Carter Raff. He's been distilling for 15 years and making wine for over 25. You'll get a bottle each of the Bummer and Lazarus Dry Gin. This gin starts as a brandy made from 100% California grapes and then redistilled with juniper, juniper berries, orris root, coriander seed, angelica root, bitter orange peel, lemon peel, cinnamon bark, and licorice root. Mm. Emperor Norton Absinthe Dew. This premium absinthe is a perfect representation of the absinthe served all over Paris 130 years ago. Woody hints of wormwood and a gentle taste of anise followed by floral and citrus overtones. The Barbary Coast Rum Agricole is made from Colombian sugarcane. Using the terra of uh, tropics provided the distinct flavor of traditional rum agricole, a drier style of rum with more earthy, grassy notes. Raft Distillery ferments sugarcane juice and then distills it into high-proof rum. Item number 7251 is a mixed case from Cost Plus World Market in Alameda with a value of $200. We have a $110 bid now, so we're looking for a bid of $120. And the best hosts know that World Market is the destination for an eclectic assortment of global wine favorites with a selection that is always changing. Your mixed case includes, from the 2010 vintage, Anciano Temporillo from Spain and Maroon Napa Valley Reserve Zinfandel. From 2013, Aquinas Pinot Noir, Napa and Sonoma Counties, and Parducci True Grit Reserve Chardonnay from Mendocino County. 2014 wines includes Finca Risalto Temporillo from Spain, Rickshaw Chardonnay, Sola Chardonnay, Central Coast, Schein Heinz Eiffel Riesling from Germany, Con Cannon Chardonnay from Monterey County, and Petite Syrah from San Francisco Bay. 2015 wines are Signal Ridge Chardonnay, Anderson Valley, and Butter Chardonnay by Jam Cellars. And item number 7086, Carvalho Family Winery, Clarksburg, it's a private tasting and tour and two bottles of wine with a value of $375. We need an opening bid of $160. The Carvalho Family Winery continues the tradition of villages and vineyards of Portugal as, as an ultra-premium winery. They're dedicated to the production of small lot handcrafted wines using grapes from Clarksburg, Appalachian, and other high-quality vineyards. Carvalho produces Verdello, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, Muscat Canelli, Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Noir, Tempranello, a Ruby Port, a Tani Port, and a variety of blended wines. The winery is located in the historic Old Sugar Mill in Clarksburg, just 15 minutes from downtown Sacramento. Tour and private tasting is up for up to 12 guests. You'll receive two bottles of Carvalho wine at the time of the tour. Okay, Doug. Thank you very much. We got lots of great items up there. We're going to take a look now at the bronze board. This is item number 7171. It is our piano flight in San Francisco. This looks like so much fun. Uh, valued at $480. Current bid, uh, looking for an opening bid of $200 on that. Two unlimited memberships. Looks spectacular. Watch this. Piano Fight is the core offbeat performance hub of downtown San Francisco with a full-service bar and restaurant and two intimate theaters staging all new work by local artists. An eclectic mix of 30 performances per week range from world premiere plays to sketch, stand-up and improv comedy to modern dance, variety shows, live music, film screenings, game shows, podcasts and more. Plus, there's usually a live band playing on the cabaret stage before and after shows. With the Piano Fight Unlimited Annual Membership, you can see all the shows you like free of charge through the end of 2017. Each member is entitled to one ticket to any show and discounted access to private events. Gorge on local art and curly fries. And remember, just like food, locally sourced art keeps you healthy. That is item number 7171, our piano flight in San Francisco. Looks like a good time, doesn't it? Valued at $480. We're looking for an opening bid of $200 on that for two unlimited memberships. We're going to move now very quickly to the platinum board. 
and this is item number 7109. This is our Tambor Bay Vineyards, valued at $3,135, current bid $2,000. Your beautiful two-bedroom, one-bath, Tuscan-style Tambor Bay guesthouse is a warm retreat set on the Napa River in Yontville. The main room, with cathedral ceiling and exposed beams, features a wood-burning fireplace, seating area with leather sofa and rocker, and a marble-appointed kitchen and dining area. French doors open from the main living area onto the veranda with a stone wood-burning fireplace, gas barbecue, and just steps to the vineyard. Vaulted ceilings glorify the two double bedrooms, which share an Italian-tiled full bath. You'll visit Tambor Bay Winery at Sundance Ranch in Calistoga, a world-class equestrian facility dedicated to training top performance horses. You'll have a private tour of the winemaking facility and stables, followed by a six-flight tasting of Tambor Bay's premium wines. After your tasting, you'll be treated to a Napa-style lunch, hosted by owners Barry and Jennifer Waite. At the conclusion of your experience, you'll be presented with a six-liter bottle of Tambor Bay Cabernet Sauvignon from the owner's own Du Chavot Vineyard. Item number 7109, Tambor Bay Vineyards in Calistoga, three-night guest house stay with tour, tasting, lunch, and a six-liter uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. So current bid on that $2,000. Be sure if you want this item, watch it closely and give us a call. As we move into an orange board review. Orange board review, yeah. yeah. First item on this board, This somebody really wants this one. <coughs> this is item 7125, a magnum of Chardonnay donated by Kistler Vineyards in Sebastopol. It's their 2014 Trenton Roadhouse Chardonnay. It has a value of $180. The current bid is $245. Thank you very much for that. This is a Sonoma Coast wine that has crisp acidity, notes of white currants, apple butter, white peach, and honeysuckle. A full-bodied wine that shows zesty acidity and terrific minerality. A yellow orchard fruit, smoke, orange blossom, and chamomile are some of the many nuances that give a generous and inviting finish. <coughs> so $245 is the current bid on that one. Bid it up a little bit more, get a real bidding war going on this. Next item on the orange board. 7003. It's donated by Platypus Tours Limited of Napa. It's a wine tour for two. It has a value of $220, and we're asking for an opening bid of $95. We don't have a bid on this one yet, so get your dialing fingers ready. You can choose your highlighted tour, your lighthearted tour, from Napa Valley, Sonoma Valley, or the Russian River Healdsburg area. You'll visit four charming hidden gem wineries and enjoy a picnic lunch at one of the wineries. A cheese platter and water are provided on the bus. You'll have the services of a well-informed tour guide who will introduce you to the wines, the wineries, and the local stories behind them. Tasting fees and driver gratuity are not included. Saturdays and holiday weekends are excluded. <clears throat> but $95 tour for two for uh, four different wineries sounds like a great, great, great time to me. Give us a call. Bid on that, 7003. Next item on the orange board is 7083. Dinner for up to four, a value of $200. The current bid is $140. This is donated by First Crush Restaurant and Wine Bar in San Francisco. First Crush, a casual upscale fine dining restaurant in the heart of Union Square, offers handcrafted quality food with fresh local ingredients complemented with a premium boutique all California wine list. Their new, Amer new American Californian cuisine brings modernity and elevation to heartwarming classic flavors. First Crush also serves several gluten-free and vegan options. That's uh, dinner for up to four, $140 is the current bid. Make it $150, $160, and support public television here on KRCB. And the last item on this orange board, <clears throat> another one that doesn't have a bid, a bid yet, 7078. It's donated by Cooper Garrett Estate Vineyards in Saratoga. <clears throat> a tour and tasting for 10 with the winemaker. And has a value of $250, we're asking for an opening bid of $100. Cooper Garrett is a boutique winery on the eastern slopes of the Santa Cruz Mountains above Saratoga. The wines from this small family winery have won recognition from numerous wine competitions throughout the country. Their wines have been featured in many publications and media such as Sunset Magazine, The Wine Spectator, Wall Street Journal, and The San Francisco Chronicle. Treat yourself and your closest friends to an exclusive tour and tasting with Cooper Garrett's winemaker. 
Taste award-winning estate wines, discover some Silicon Valley history, enjoy the panoramic scenery, and learn how Cooper Garrett makes wine. Um, we're asking for an opening bid on 100, of $100 on that. That's $10 a person for tour and tasting with the winemaker. And that's a review of the Orange Board. Great, Shafiq, thank you very much. Two items up there, as you can see, don't have bids, and we're looking for bids on those. You're only going to see this Orange Board a couple more times before it closes tonight. And we are going to move to Doug, who's going to review the Blue Board for us. The Blue Board also closes tonight, and we start with item number 7094. It's from Parmesan Wine in Healdsburg. It's a mixed case that is signed with a value of $436. We need a bid right now of $375. Parmesan makes elegant and refined wines that enable the unique characteristics of the terroir to come through. By focusing on the cool climate vineyard locations, the wine can perfectly pair with food and are also great on their own. You'll receive four bottles of each of the 2013 vintage wines, Chardonnay, Russian River Valley Josephine Hill Vineyards, 90 points from wine enthusiasts, enticing aromas of honeysuckle, toast, and acacia flower. The Pinot Noir Sonoma Coast Wildcat Mountain Vineyard, a gold medal 2016 from the San Francisco Chronicle, an incredibly versatile wine that can pair with many dishes. A Zinfandel from Russian River Valley, Alegria Vineyard, 90 points from the wine enthusiast and the winner of two gold medals, beautifully integrated complex flavors of white pepper, warm baking spices, and a touch of vanilla. All the bottles are signed by the winemaker, Tom Parmesan. Item number 7219 from Blue Cape Cellars in Santa Barbara County, a case of 2012 Pinot Noir with a value of $390. We need a bid right now of $275. This inaugural release wine won a double gold medal from the 2014 San Francisco International Wine Competition, a 96 out of 100 points. The 2012 Pinot Noir Santa Rita Hills is made from premium Santa Barbara County grapes. This silky wine reflects the style and unique terroir of Pinot Noir from California's central coast. The wine has a deep garnet color, a bright taste with layers of dried strawberries, cherries, and spice. Less than 250 cases produced, Kim Hartle Road is the winemaker. Item number 7066, Campania Ranch Winery in Windsor. It's a tour, a wine and barrel tasting for six with the winemaker with a value of $500. We are looking for a bid right now of $250, quite a screaming deal. You and your guests will enjoy an afternoon of wine tasting with the winemaker at Campania Ranch Winery in the Russian River Valley. You'll have a vineyard tour, a wine and barrel tasting, and a food pairing. Item number 7048 from Vianza Sonoma in Sonoma. A private outlook tasting for four with a value of $300. We are looking for a bid right now of $150. You and your guests will experience wine tasting in one of the winery's private outlooks. Perched along the hillside in your one-of-a-kind custom outlook, your group will enjoy a flight of reserved wines served alongside a locally sourced cheese pairing as you take in the stunning views. Please book five to six weeks in advance for a mutually agreeable date and plan for your experience to take 90 minutes. Item number 7117, Shroudsburg and Davies Vineyard in Calistoga, two signed magnums with a value of $325. We have a $225 current bid and we're looking for uh, more. 2009 Shroudsburg Brut Rosé and 2012 J. Davies Cabernet Sauvignon, Diamond Mountain District signed and presented in a logo wood box. The complex and dense note of the Brut Rose bursts with aromas of raspberry and strawberry, followed by exotic candied mango, <clears throat> pineapple, and papaya. On first taste, there are flavors of peach and pineapple complemented by a touch of strawberries and cream. Keith Hawk and Hugh Davies are the winemakers. The J. Davies Cabernet Sauvignon has deep, dark, perfumed aromas of marionberry jam with hints of cocoa, vanilla cream, and tobacco, the palate is bold, complex, and fruitful. Flavors of blueberry and wild mountain blackberry mingle with baking spice and dark chocolate. Sean Thompson and Hugh Davies are the winemaker. Item number 7159, the Ritz-Carlton Half Moon Bay. It's a tasting menu for two with wine pairings with a value of $300. We've got a current bid of $296, so we are looking for a bid of $300. 25 or so. Your tasting menu dinner with wine pairings in Navio will be with Chef Jason Pringle. 
boasting exceptional seafood dishes and a comfortable California-inspired design. The cuisine in Navio combines the subtle flavors of the sea with fresh textures and light, savory accompaniments. The chef highlights approachable flavors that reference the best of coastal dining from around the world. Your meal includes beverage, appetizer, entree, and dessert. Holidays, special events, additional alcohol are excluded. Certain blackout dates may apply. Gratuity and parking are the responsibility of the winner. And that is uh, the blue board that is ending tonight. Great. Done. Thank you very much. You. Lots of great items up there. So um, and lots of great items up there. We're going to move very quickly to a showcase item. This is showcase item number 72. Oh, excuse me. Um, the, well, there we go. This is showcase item number 7212, our Santa Cruz Mountain Wine Growers item. That's uh, valued at $1,659. Current bid on that is $825. Welcome to the Santa Cruz Mountains. This is a great item. You've got to watch the video. So. With mountainous terrain, marine and valley influences, varied microclimates, and diverse soils, the Santa Cruz Mountains wine region offers the ideal place to grow high-quality grapes and produce distinct terroir-driven wines. You'll receive a case of Santa Cruz Mountains wines, including three 2012 House Family Vineyards Chardonnay, 2013 Windy Oaks Pinot Noir Estate Cuvée Schultz Family Vineyard, 2012 Burrell School Cabernet Franc Estate, Pichon Vineyards, Extra Credit, and 2012 Cabernet Sauvignon Lucchese Vineyards, Dean's List. Three Kings Mountains Vineyards, Bacchus Pinot Noir, Estate Grown. Three Silver Mountain Vineyards, Pinot Noir, Miller Hill Vineyard. Two Santa Cruz Mountains passports are included. On the third Saturday of January, April, July, and November, passport holders can visit participating wineries throughout the region with an opportunity to meet the legendary winemakers of the Santa Cruz Mountains. You'll have a two-night stay for two at the newly renovated Chaminade Resort and Spa, a spectacular mountaintop retreat with sweeping views of the Monterey Bay and the Santa Cruz Mountains. Enjoy color palettes inspired by the California coast, contemporary Spanish furnishings, and world-class amenities. Enjoy dinner at Santa Cruz's Assembly Restaurant, offering rustic California cuisine based on local, seasonal, and sustainably sourced ingredients. That is item number 7134. Oh. Excuse me, we're moving into item number 7134. That last one was item number 7212. Uh, 7134, valued at $520. Current bid on that is $250. This is our Explore San Francisco Mission Food and Drink Tour for Four. Watch this video. It looks like a great time. Somebody's going to have a great time. And there are only so many. The Mission District is a celebration of the culinary arts, a world-class dining destination, one of the capitals of the foodie world. Besides the quality, the diversity of the food is probably the biggest draw to this area's eateries. The locals have come to expect nothing less than outstanding food choices. The Mission offers excellent dining options ranging from high-end establishments to surreal taquerias, from long-standing mom and pops to sidewalk food vendors. Your guide is from the neighborhood and knows the owners and staff of the places you'll visit. You'll visit Holes in the Walls and higher-end restaurants as well. From mom and pops to celebrity chefs to food carts, no two tours are ever the same, and you'll eat until you're full. Mission Food and Drink Tour is held on Friday and Saturday at 3 p.m., allow two and a half hours. Drinks are limited to two or three alcoholic beverages. No holidays. Valid until September 18th, 2017. This is a walking tour and no transportation is provided. And there you go. All right, bronze item 7134, exploring San Francisco. Put your bid up there. That'll be gone on, uh, let's see, Sunday, I guess, right? Yeah. Uh, all right, what up's next? There we got bronze item 71. Uh, 34, and um, it is a showcase item is what we've got right now. This is the Appalachian St. Helena. Ah, uh, yes, you've got to have a program to stick with me here, kids. 7240 is the item number. Watch this video. St. Helena has the distinction of being the birthplace of the Napa Valley wine industry. Your case of Appalachian St. Helena wines includes 2011 St. Helena Winery Estate Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon from the 2012 vintage are Corley Ewell Vineyard, Behringer Single Vineyard, Home Vineyard, Young Inglewood Estate Cabernet, 2012 and 2013 Engel Family Vineyards, Rock Mountain Vineyard, 
also from the 2013 vintage Alpha Omega Cabernet Sauvignon Beckstoffer, Las Piedras. Stanton Vineyards Petit Syrah, Crocker Star Casali 6th Edition, 69% Malbec, 25% Cabernet Franc, Spotswood Estate Grown Cabernet Sauvignon, Chase Hain Vineyard Zinfandel, Levinson Cabernet Sauvignon, an exclusive small lot release. Also included are tastings at these wineries. Experience a private tour and tasting at Alpha Omega Winery. The beauty of this modern farm style winery is as captivating as its wine. Ehlers Estate Vineyards are certified organic and cultivated using biodynamic farming techniques, producing exceptional wines. You'll have a private guided tour through Hall's Winery Grounds, taste current releases, and discover their state-of-the-art winemaking facility. Cliff Family Winery offers a bruschetta and wine tasting trio paired with their limited production wines. And at Beneseri Vineyards, you and a guest will enjoy a selection of their fine Italian varietals with cheeses, included as a bottle of Sangiovese. All right, that's item 7240, the Appalachian St. Helena, a case of St. Helena wines. Get your bid up there and take that away before uh, Sunday night when it is gone. All right, we have a wonderful guest here in the studio. We have some great volunteers. We could not do the auction without our volunteers. And uh, this is Lori from Canine Companions. Hi, Lori. Hi, thanks for having us here today. Oh, thank you so much for volunteering and being part of our phone team. And you have a special little a guest here. What's her name? This is Justine. 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 Is, uh, she's 17 months old and she's in the training program. Hi, Justine. Yes, you're a cutie. I know. How's Justine? So um, how long is the training program for Justine? Um, well, I'm a puppy raiser, and so she's with me from the time she's eight weeks old until about the time she's 18 months old. Right. After that, she goes in for her advanced training. Wow. That lasts about six months, and then she gets a placement with the person that she'll stick with the rest of her life. Probably has a better education than I do. I mean, I'm <laughs> telling you right now. She no, is I, really I know. Smart. I mean, we know about Canine Companions. Uh, they do such incredible work, and Absolutely. you're so lucky to be associated with them. And I've known about them for years and years here in North Bay. Um, tell people out there if they don't know about Canine Companions how they can learn more. So, Canine Companions at cci.org. Um, it's a great organization that provides uh, assistance dogs and highly trained service dogs for people with disabilities. And there's no charge to the person with disabilities. It's all uh, free of charge. So they're a great nonprofit organization to work for. And we're so happy that you have helped our nonprofit organization here at KRCB tonight at the auction. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you, Justine. Thank you. Nice to see you. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's go. We've got uh, we've got Shafiq is what we've got. But then to give you a a review of the green board Speak. here. <clears throat> this is item 7181, a case of Riviera Rosé, a value of $252. We're asking for an opening bid of $100. This is a lovely wine. I've tried this one, and it's really, really delightful, perfect to drink, great for this time of the year. It's crafted from Grenache grapes, sourced from the Alamo Creek Vineyard, located in San Luis Obispo County. The color is coral, salmon, and pink, and the wine is bursting with aromas of framboise, watermelon candy, and spice. The wine finishes dry. There is an incredible fruit plushness of wild strawberry, giving sweetness on the palate and a long, crisp finish. Fewer than 800 cases were produced, and it's ready to drink now. It's a delightful wine. You really, it's $100 opening bid on this item. Give us a call, bid $100, and get a great case of a lovely light rosé. Next item on the green board, 7233, donated by the Left Edge Theater of Santa Rosa. It's two 2016-2017 season tickets, a value of $324. We're asking for an opening bid of $130. Left Edge Theater, now located at the Luther Burbank Center, endeavors to thrill, challenge, and engage audiences with ideas that make us think more, laugh more, and feel more. With the highest artistic standards and the region's most talented theater artists, they produce a professional season of ambitious performances. The 2016-17 season runs from September 2016 through May 2017 and features these plays. The Big Meal, an extraordinary story of an ordinary family. Zombie Town, a comedic mockumentary. Bad Jews, a vicious and hilarious brawl over family, faith, and legacy. You Got Older a tender and darkly comic new play about family illness and cowboys, Race, David Mamet's provocative new tale of sex, guilt, and bold accusations, and The Money Shot, a hilarious and insightful comedy about ambition, art, status, and sex. 
$130 gets you to see all of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, six of them. Six plays. So great opportunity here to pick up tickets for this wonderful, these wonderful productions. Next item on the green board here is 7227, donated by Cuisinart of Stamford, Connecticut. It's a premium single-service coffee maker, value of $149. We're asking for an opening bid of $75. The 72-ounce capacity Cuisinart Premium Single Serve Brewer is a fully programmable home brewing unit. Comp compatible with all K-cups and equipped with a home barista reusable filter cup, this coffee maker makes it easy for you to enjoy a wide array of hot beverages. The unit has five different cup size settings from 4 to 12 ounces and an adjustable brewing temperature to ensure desired temperatures are reached. The hot water button can be used to prepare soup, tea, hot cocoa, and more. And the unit is equipped with a rinse function for easy cleaning. What more could you ask for? $75, an opening bid on that item. The Cuisinart Coffee Maker Single Service. And the last item on this green board is 7059 donated by the Twin Pine Casino and Hotel in Middletown. It's one night stay with dinner and free play, a value of $269. And we're asking for an opening bid of $120. The Twin Pine Casino Hotel offers the latest and most exciting slots and a variety of table games within 25,000 square feet of gaming space. Stay in a spacious 525 square room deluxe, deluxe room with modern amenities that is bigger than my apartment. You'll have a $50 gift certificate for dinner at Manzanita Restaurant with entrees including steaks, seafood, pasta, and prime rib. And it includes two $25 free play coupons to the Harvest Club. Harvest Club membership is required for free play coupons, but you join for free. That's item 7059. Give us a starting bid of $120 and go have a night with dinner and gaming for two. And that's a look at the green board. And you can also get a look at Shafiq's apartment if, if you, or you're a high bidder. Why not? Here at the KRCB auction, we've got a bronze item working, and this is item number 7150, Hagafen Cellars in Napa. Wonderful place to visit, a tour and tasting for six. Check it out. Located adjacent to the Stag's Leap and Oak Knoll districts, Hagafen Cellars is the ideal location for the growth and production of ripe, rich, intensely fruity, small lot estate bottled wines. Since 1980, Hagafen's wines have been served on numerous occasions at the White House during state dinners. Owner and winemaker Ernie Weir's daily involvement in both grape growing and winemaking ensures the superb quality of the wines. During your tour and tasting at the winery, you can choose to taste wine from any of Ernie Weir's three labels, Hagafen, Pre, or Don Ernesto. You'll leave with a case of Hagafen Cellars 2012 Napa Valley Cabernet Franc. The fleshy, supple nose of this exquisite wine wows you with violets, red currants, and rose. The mouth bursts with flavors of the deep forest glen, rich earth, deep dark black cherries, and rose hips. This is a CCOF certified organically grown vineyard source. A case of wine can be shipped at your expense. Vintage and or varietals are subject to change. Tours are held in the morning only, Sunday through Friday. Holidays excluded. Valid until September 18th, 2017. All right, there you go. Uh, and the gold board, uh, Shafiq, we missed the uh, lunar eclipse tonight here in the Bay Area. We did. But this is the only place you'll find a fundraising auction on your TV set. So that's, that's right. what you want to know. That's right. That's All what right. you want to watch. So Let's see what you got. We're going to, uh, what have we got here? So we've got a couple items on the gold board to review. This is item 7213, value at $1,200, a bit of six seventy five dollars currently. This is donated by LB Steak Santa Ro, Santana Row, San Jose. I said this last week, you think I'd get it right by now. <laughs> Chef's dinner for eight with wine pairings. Uh, contemporary American Steakhouse wine pairings and dinner for eight. Uh, give us a bid of seven fifty dollars and make that one yours. Remember, you are supporting public broadcasting here. The next item on the gold board donated by Brown Estate in St. Helena. And this is a California Wine Club membership valued at $1,500. We have a current bid of $775. And that's this, that's this item. Uh, you can find out more about these items on our uh, website, krcb.org slash auction, and all this stuff is there uh, for you to look at and get lots of details. And this item on, on the gold board, 7241, a value of $2,300. Uh, we're asking, we don't have a bid on this one, an opening bid of $1,050 is what we're asking for. It's donated by Cardella Winery in Mendota, California. It's dinner and a wine tasting for 10 with a case of wine. And we have, a, well, you'll see an image of this right there we go. This is the wine that you will get. 
Immigrants from Tuscany, the Cardella family carries on the Tuscan passion for food and wine. Their wines have a solid sense of terroir and have earned numerous awards in international wine competitions. You and up to nine guests will have an evening in Tuscany, in California, and enjoy dinner and wine tasting at the winery with the winemaker. Your dinner includes soup or salad, a main course and dessert, each paired with a different varietal. Enjoy the, riches, the rich wines aged in the subterranean cellar and share the history of Tuscany backlit by the Central California Coast Range. Right now you'll receive a case of Cardello's Winery's premium wines that include three of the 2012 Sangiovese, a 2015 Rosato, a 2015 Chardonnay, Sophia's Vineyard Special Edition, two 2011 Ruby Cabernet, a 2012 Barbera, 2011 Syrah, 2014 Malbec, 2011 Merlot, and 2013 Pinot Grigio. Also included are four tickets to the fall Schizzo di Vino, at the winery on Sunday, October 9th, 2016. So that's that item. Give us a call, bid $1,050 to get that going, and we, would, we, will make, we will make you very happy, and you'll make us very happy. Thank you, Shafiq, and bidding high, bidding often, that's what it's about here at the Bay Area Wine and Epicurean Auction. You know, Peter Cohen is the uh, artist that created the artwork used for the Bay Area Wine and Epicurean Auction this season. Uh, you may have seen it, so uh, you can check that out. And the, the guy Guy Buffet takes the observer into his work both visually and emotionally. His intention is to create a moment where one can rediscover the beauty and gaiety of life. A Gathering of Connoisseurs is a hand-pulled lithograph and was printed by Arts Litho in Paris. The image is 21 inches by 31 inches. It is a printer's proof with remark numbered 2 of 10 and is signed by the artist. The lithograph is matted in beige linen and has an intricate gold-colored frame. With frame, it measures 35 and a half inches high by 45 inches wide. A certificate of addition is included, must be picked up at KRCB in Rohner Park, not available for shipping. All right, it's live, folks. That's what it is, it's live television, and we have a bunch of volunteers, and we're doing the best we can, but we want to tell you to make your calls at the number on your screen, and go to the website and check out all the videos for all the things you want to bid on. Now, I want to tell you about Peter Cohn, right? Peter Cohn, he's the artist that created the artwork that helps us promote this auction throughout the Bay Area, and let's take a look at this video. I'm Peter Cohn and uh, I'm a scanographer. I I've lived longer in Sonoma County than anywhere in the world, and I'm happier here than I have ever been anywhere. Sonoma County is great because so many amazing things grow here, and it's breathtaking in, in so many respects. Being able to grow it here makes a huge difference because I can select things from my garden based on the time that they ripen and uh, mature. For me, my work falls under the, the sort of theme of blessings of the earth. To be able to experience gratitude for the gifts of the earth. You know, we have so much these days to worry about in the world that sometimes we lose sight of the joy and the positives and all the good things. And for me, doing this work, from being in the garden and observing and slowing down and taking in the beauty, gives me an opportunity to really enter into that state of appreciation of good things and how beautifully the planet works as long as we don't screw it up too much. Ah, yes, that's it. What a beautiful artist. What an amazing uh, technique. Yes, absolutely. Made beautiful art. Absolutely. We thank Gorgeous him stuff. for helping us promote the auction. Yeah. Yeah. Shafiq is here. I'm here. And uh, what do we have? We have a so gold board. Gold board. Yeah. Gold board to look at again. A different gold board to look at again this time. Maybe around. <laughs> First item on this gold board is 7006, a value of $1,600. We have a bid of 775 This is donated by Trinquero Family Estates in St. Helena. It's bocce, wine, food, and and food with food for friends for aid. I wish they'd write these things better. <laughs> I could probably look at them before I talk about them too. 
Built in honor of Italian immigrants Mario and Mari Trinchero, unique Trinchero Valley, Napa Valley is a Napa Valley gem. Their wine and food center is normally limited to industrial profession, industry professionals, but the Trinchero family will open their doors to eight guests for a great day of fun. You'll enjoy an array of world-class wine from the Trinchero family estate's wine cellar, a seasonal lunch prepared by their chefs featuring the best from local farmers, bocce ball on their private court, and a surprise gift for each guest. May be reserved for a Wednesday, Thursday, or Saturday only. August, September, and October are excluded. So a little bit later in the year. Of course, we're coming up to crush, so they're real busy right now. Next item on the gold board, 7030, donated by Guy Buffet Productions in Rio Vista. This is a piece called Café des Fleurs, a framed gicle, a value of $2,040, and we have a bid of $850. Uh, Café de Fleur is a gicle on canvas. The print was, printing was done by Maui Gicle and Bay Lab. The image size is 24 inches by 30 inches and numbered one of 300 signed by the artist. Café de Fleur is matted in sand-colored linen and has a wood grain with a black frame. With the frame, it measures 37 by 48. A certificate of addition is included. It must be picked up at KRCB in Ronar Park. It's not available for shipping. And that's the image there. Next item on the gold board is 7072, donated by Beachcomber Hotels on the Mendocino Coast. Eight midweek nights, three hotels for two. <clears throat> and it's a value of $1,272. We have a bid of $1,000. Wow, somebody really wants this. Um, you'll receive a four-night stay at the Beachcomber Motel and Spa on the beach. Your guest room features an array of amenities. You'll enjoy epic vistas on the north coast from your private deck. You get a two-night stay at the Surf and Sand Lodge. The intimate Surf and Sand Lodge is located just steps from the beach. All newly remodeled rooms feature private balconies and patios with plush amenities. And you get two nights at the Beach House Inn. The Beach House Inn provides peaceful views from your private balcony overlooking the Pudding Creek Estuary. All stays are valid for a king room or two queens, valid Sunday through Thursday until May 1st, 2018. Holidays and peak season are excluded but a great value nonetheless, $1,000. Great bid on that one. Thank you for that. And the last item on this gold board, another Guy Buffet production, 7032, a value of $1,899. This is called Wine Tasting, a framed lithograph. Guy Buffet has been the official artist for the Perrier Jouet Museum in Paris and has received several commissions from the Hawaii State Foundation on Culture and the Arts. Wine Tasting is numbered 4 441 of 500. It has a beautiful black and gold frame with a white linen matting. It measures 31 inches by 47 and is signed by the artist. It must be picked up at KRCB in Roner Park. It's not available for shipping. Uh, that's item 7032, uh, the fra framed wine tasting lithograph. Uh, we're looking for an opening bid of $800. We don't have a bid on this, so it's a lovely print. Give us a call, bid on this item. And that's a look at that gold board. Thank you, Shafiq. Uh, great job there. And I tell you, those uh, lithographs have been here at KRCB for a little bit, and uh, we'll be sad to see them go out the door because they are just so beautiful. They brought so much life to the walls here at the station. Showcase item next up. If you're bidding on this, well, we need you to get on it. The Wine Road, Northern Sonoma County. It's got a value of $16.29. It's a ruby anniversary basket. Check it out. You'll receive two tickets to these Wine Road events, the Wine and Food Affair November 5th and 6th, Winter Wineland in January, and the 40th Annual Barrel Tasting March 3rd through the 5th. And get to know the Wine Road even better with a one-night midweek stay at the Courtyard by Marriott in Santa Rosa. Visit Miriam Vineyards in Hillsburg and enjoy a private tour and sit-down wine tasting for up to eight people. You'll cross cultures tasting their California-crafted French-style wines in their beautifully appointed tasting room. You'll also visit the Battaglini Estate Winery in Santa Rosa and taste award-winning wines from 135-year-old vines and have a personal tour of the vineyards from the winemaker proprietor. Other items with which to celebrate Wine Road's 40th anniversary are one 750-milliliter bottle each of Papa Pietro Perry 2012 Pinot Noir and Mount's Family Winery 2013 Vera Blanc, two Rydell Red wine glasses, the book Sonoma Photography by Andy Katz, herb finishing salt gift box, Robert Young Estate Winery Apron, and Wine Road logo items, including a custom barrel stave clock. 
That's item 7119. We need a bid. That could be you stealing that before Sunday night. All right? That's on the showcase. People all over the Bay Area now doing their holiday shopping right here at Channel 22, and that's what you could be doing. So make sure you get your bids. If you saw something and you weren't quite sure about it, go to the website, krcb.org slash auction, and make your bids there. Doug is here, and he's got the silver board. Quick review of the silver board, and all of these items are currently uh, way under the uh, value, so a good time to bid on these things. Item number 7029, the Roman Spa Hot Spring Resort in Calistoga. Two-night midweek jacuzzi suite for two and more with a value of $940. We need a bid of $575. Item number 7074, Santa Cruz Mountain Brewing Company. The lifetime jug membership with a value of $750. We need a bid of $425. Item number 7177, the George Wine Company in Healdsburg, a mixed case of Pinot Noir with a value of $700. We need a bid of $500. Item number 7110 is Scott Harvey Wines in the Napa Valley in Amador County. It's two nights for six at the Shenandoah Valley Private Tour and Wine with a value of $825. We need a bid of $575. And last one is item number 7061, Segacio Family Vineyards in Healdsburg. It's six bottles of 2012 Chianti Station in a logo wood box with a value of $600. We need a bid of $400, and these things will close on Sunday. Back to you, Stan. All right, thank you, Doug. Nice job there. All right, yes, they will close on Sunday, and so will this, uh, this uh, auction, so make sure you are a winner. We've got a platinum item number, uh, 7107, 7107. We do have a bid of 1650. We, can you beat that? Check this video out and make it yours. Hellwig Winery is a new state-of-the-art winery located in the heart of picturesque Shenandoah Valley. With their award-winning world-class wines, unique wine caves, unparalleled hospitality, and miles of views, Hellwig Winery is the quintessential wine country experience. You'll stay at the breathtaking Devancy Chateau, located on Hellwig Winery's estate, with six bedrooms, gourmet kitchen, game room complete with 90-inch flat-screen TV, and lap pool, Devancy Chateau is the idyllic place to relax in the wine country. From the hand-placed slate roof to the wood beams on the ceiling, every detail is impeccable. Chilled sparkling wine will greet you on check-in and a farm-to-fork cheese basket with local fresh baked bread will be provided by the Foxes Inn. You and your guests will also receive a complimentary wine tasting at Hellwig Winery in the private tasting room, where you can enjoy your cheese basket and savor Hellwig's wines. There it is. All right. That's item 7107 on our platinum board, a uh, value of 3600 Take that home on Sunday night. Put your big, strong bid up there and support Channel 22 KRCB here in the Bay Area. All right. So uh, Shafiq is back with another look at the gold another board. look at the gold board, a different yeah. gold board. So we're going to go quickly through this here. This is item 7034. It has a value of $1,900 and a current bid of $800. This is Guy Bouffet Productions, another one of these beautiful uh, framed pictures here. This is called California Early Days with Remark and Framed. Uh, item 7034, give us a call. Take that one home. Come pick it up and take it home to yours, to you. Next item is 7164. Uh, value of $1,299. We have a bid of $600 on this. It's donated by CNS Imports from Pico Rivera in California. Oh, this is this is a great one. This is 375 milliliter bottle of 15 year old Quechow Mutai, which is a uh, the world's best selling liquor. Is this China's Baijiu made from grains? And this is the number one brand in this category, also named as the national liquor of China. So a 375 milliliter bottle of $1,300 it's worth. Make a 675 and take this home and have some fun with it. Next item on the gold board, 7208, a value of $1,000 and a current bid of 650. Donated by the Culinary Institute of America at Copia in Napa. It's dinner for six at the restaurant at Copia. Absolutely wonderful uh, opportunity here to go there and have a fabulous meal. Of course, you and five of your friends. And the last item on the gold board here is 7079. 
donated by the Dolphin Bay Resort and Spa in Pismo Beach. It's two nights for two, a one-bedroom oceanfront suite, value of $1,200. We have a current bid of $875. And that's that quick look at the gold board. Thank you, Shafiq. Nice job, and make sure you get your bids on there right now. That's what it's all about here. Call our beautiful volunteers who are waiting for your calls right now. Uh, we have a showcase item now. Is that right? Yes, we do. And this is uh, showcase item number, put it up there, 7218. It's Livermore Valley. Hello, Livermore. You're watching in the East Bay. This one is yours. Discover the Livermore Valley wine country and its wines. Livermore Valley is undergoing a wine renaissance, welcoming tasting rooms, showcase award-winning wines, and offer year-round activities, as does the Livermore Valley Wine Growers Association. You'll have a two-night weekday stay for two people at the Purple Orchid Wine Country Resort and Spa with the best available King Suite in the main lodge. Breakfast and the gathering table, wine and olive oil hour, are included. You'll dine at Gari Cafe, featuring California cuisine with a Mediterranean influence, and at Campo di Bocci, an Italian ristorante, bar, and bocce club. Experience a reserve tasting and a barrel tasting for six at McGrail Vineyards and Winery, recent sweepstakes red wine winner at the San Francisco Chronicle Wine Competition. And Concanon Vineyards invites you for a tour and tasting for up to eight people. The San Francisco premium outlets in Livermore provide gift cards from Ghirardelli Chocolate, Kitchen Collection, Columbia Sportswear, and Samsonite. And you'll also receive a case of Livermore Valley Wines to be picked up at the time of your visit at the Livermore Valley Wine Country Office. All right, showcase item 7218, a minimum bid of $800, value of uh, $1,750. And uh, that's pretty cool. And if you live in the Bay Area and you live in the East Bay, that's the one you want to be bidden on, too. All right, platinum item number 7033, uh, Guy Buffet. Guy, G Guy Buffet. <laughs> All right, this is, you'll love this one. La Sommelier. Born in Paris, Guy Buffet studied at the Beaux-Arts de Toulon, which once harbored the artists Chagall, Matisse, Picasso, and Toulouse-Lautrec. Le Sommelier is a hand-pulled lithograph printed by Arts Litho Paris. The image size is 25 inches by 19 inches. Only 50 artist proofs were made and this one is numbered 10 of 50. It is signed by the artist. Le Sommelier has a beige linen matting with a black frame. Frame the size is 38 inches high by 31 inches wide. A certificate of addition is included. Must be picked up at KRCB in Rohnert Park, not available for shipping. Guy Buffet Productions, La Sommelier. Beautiful, beautiful, I love it. And it's an artist's proof, framed lithograph, can be yours. It'll go out the door on Sunday. Give us a call right now, item number 7033, and make it yours. All right, we've got Doug back to uh, check out a purple board. Purple board ends tonight, and you can get screaming deals on all these Ooh. items, including uh, item number 7040. It is the 37 wines from Sonoma, a solid gold six-pack with a value of 156 bucks. We need $85, and uh, that would be a screaming deal. Your six-pack will have a, uh, one of the following. Chardonnay Reserve, a double gold medal, 95 points from the San Francisco International Wine Competition. And uh, the following wines are all gold medal winners. They have each received at least 91 points. Pinot Grigio, medal awarded by San Francisco International Wine Competition, only 180 cases produced. The Albarino, a gold medal, best of class, Sonoma County Harvest Fair, 150 cases made. The Pinot Noir is a double gold medal, Sonoma County Harvest Fair with 185 cases made. The Grenache is a medal awarded by San Francisco International Wine Competition with only 65 cases produced. And the Syrah has also got the San Francisco International Wine Competition Award with 135 cases made. Item number 7204 from Raft Distillery in Treasure Island. It's the Dry Gin, Absinthe, and Barbary Coast Rum Agricole with a value of $137. We're up to $90 right now, but we're looking for a bid of $100. You'll get a bottle each of the Bummer and Lazarus Dry Gin. This gin starts as brandy made from 100% California grapes, then is redistilled with juniper berries, orris root, 
coriander seed, angelica root, bitter orange peel, lemon peel, cinnamon bark, and licorice root. Mm. The Emperor Norton Absinthe Dieu. This premium absinthe is a perfect representation of the absinthe served all over Paris 130 years ago. Woody hints of wormwood and a gentle taste of anise, followed by floral and citrus undertones. And the Barbary Coast Rum Agricole, made from Colombian sugarcane, uses the terra of tropics, provides uh, the distinct flavor of traditional rum agricole, a drier style of rum with more earthy, grassy notes. Draft, Raft Distillery ferments sugarcane juice and then distills it into the high-proof rum. Item number 7251 is from Cost Plus World Market in Alameda. It's a mixed case of wine with a value of $200. We're currently at $110, so we're looking for a bid of $120. Your mixed case, case will include, from the 2010 vintage, the Anciano Tempranillo from Spain and Maroon Napa Valley Reserve Zinfandel. From 2013, Aquinas Pinot Noir, Napa and Sonoma Counties, and Parducci True Grit Reserve Chardonnay from Mendocino County. 2014 wines include Finca Rosalo Tempranillo from Spain, Rickshaw Chardonnay, Sola Chardonnay from the Central Coast, Schein Heinz Eiffel Riesling, Riesling from Germany, the Con Cannon Chardonnay from Monterey County, and the Petit Syrah from San Francisco Bay. It's a lot of wine. The 2015 wine include, is the uh, Signal Ridge Chardonnay, Anderson Valley, and Butter Chardonnay by Jam Cellars. Item number 7086 is Carvalho Family Winery in Clarksburg, a private tasting and a tour with two bottles of wine with a value of $375. We're up to $160. We need $170. Call right now. And uh, Carvalho Family Winery continues the traditions of villages and vineyards of Portugal as an ultra-premium winery. They're dedicated to the production of small lot handcrafted wines using grapes from the Clarksburg, Appalachian, and other high-quality vineyards. Carvalho produces Vedelo, Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay, Muscat Canelli, Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Noir, Tempranillo, a Ruby Port, a Tawny Port, and a variety of blended wines. The winery is located in the historic Old Sugar Mill in Clarksburg, just 15 minutes from downtown Sacramento. Tour and private tasting is up for 12 guests. You'll receive two bottles of Car Carvalho wine at the time of the tour. Okay, back to you. Great, Doug, thank you very much. Lots of great <laughs> items up there. Be sure that you call in, at, make the bid, that's the winning bid. Give us a call. We're waiting, we, we're waiting to hear from you. Right now we're gonna take a look at the showcase board and this is item number 7175. Our Carneros Wine Alliance, Carneros Wines and Winery Experiences, valued at $2,000, bid on that $1,000. The Carneros Wine Alliance is a nonprofit association of wineries and grape growers in the Carneros ABA. Located at the crossroads of the Napa and Sonoma Valleys, Carneros is influenced by bay breezes and fog to create fine Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Included wines are 14 Pinot Noir from Boucher, Napa Valley, Shug Carneros, Donna Estate, Carneros Hills Winery, Garnet Vineyards and Poseidon Vineyards, three Chardonnay from Donna Estate and Poseidon Vineyard, and a Pinot Meunier from Boucher. Then explore the Carneros district with these special experiences. Tasting and tour at the Donham Estate, producing the finest Pinot Noir and Chardonnay with an evolving art collection at the estate. Private wine tasting from Poseidon Vineyards and Obsidian Ridge at their tasting room at Cornerstone Sonoma. Enjoy a hosted VIP tour of Bouchain's Vineyards and historic winery, the gardens, cellar, all followed by a tasting of the current release wines. Winemaker Allison Crow will host a VIP vineyard tour at Garnet Vineyards, followed by a tasting of wine and cheeses. A private tour and tasting with cheese pairings from the barrel aging caves at Shug Carneros Estate, Sonoma. You'll taste their elegant Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays from the cool climate Carneros region. That is item number 7175, our Carneros Wine Alliance. Carneros Wines and Winery Experiences valued at $2,000. Current bid on that, $1,000. That is truly spectacular. We are so lucky to live in this area. It's unbelievable. The next item up for bid is Platinum Board, item number 7077. This is our Elite Island Resorts, Palm Island Resort in the Grenadines. Watch this. Imagine basking in the sun on your own private island steps from the warm turquoise waters of the Caribbean. 
Palm Island Resort is an oasis of tropical serenity known for its stunning natural beauty. Located on the southern tip of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, your Palm View rooms feature sitting areas and private furnished terraces overlooking either the pool or gardens. You'll have a spacious bath, air conditioning, mini bar, daily housekeeping, and nightly turndown service. Palm Island Resort provides personal service and superb cuisine, carefully crafted to highlight the best of local Caribbean specialties and international flavors. At the elegant Royal Palm Restaurant, you'll enjoy beautiful ocean views and sea breezes along with breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Located right on the sand, the Sunset Grill offers an array of local and international delights with a distinct Caribbean flair. Your gift certificate provides seven nights accommodations, double occupancy for up to two rooms. However, your certificate is transferable to other select elite island resorts, so you can choose to use one room at the Palm Island and use the second room at a different resort. That is item number 7077, our Elite Island Resort, seven nights, two rooms for two, peop for two to four people, valued at $3,000. Um, looking for an opening bid on that of $1,350. The time to bid on that is now. It's a great item. As we move quickly to the orange board. Shafiq, what do we have going orange on? Orange board. Yes, we have a great uh, number of items here. Uh, somebody has snagged this one, <clears throat> uh, unless you want to outbid them. This is item 7125, a magnum of Chardonnay donated by the Kistler Vineyards in uh, Sebastopol. Oh, no. It's a magnum of their 2014 Trenton Roadhouse Chardonnay. Uh, value of $180, the current bid is $245. It's a Sonoma Coast wine with crisp acidity, notes of currants, apple butter, honeysuckle, white peaches, full-bodied, an inviting finish, what, quite a delicious, delicious wine. Someone really knows how good this wine is and they've bid it up that way. <clears throat> Next item on the orange board is 7003, donated by Platypus Tours Limited of Napa. And this is a wine tour for two, for two, valued at $220. We have a bid of 115 on this, thank you for that. You can choose your lighthearted tour from Napa Valley, Sonoma Valley, or the Russian River Healdsburg area. You'll visit four charming hidden gem wineries and enjoy a picnic lunch at one of them. A cheese platter and water are provided on the bust. You'll have the services of a well-informed tour guide who will introduce you to the wines, the wineries, and the local stories behind them. Tasting fees and driver gratuity are not included. Saturdays and holiday weekends are excluded. But other than that, it's a great time, great, time, great way to get and have some fun. <clears throat> Item 7083, the next item on this orange board, donated by First Crush Restaurant and Wine Bar in San Francisco. Uh, we have a current bid of $140 on this $200 value item. <clears throat> First Crush is a casual upscale fine dining restaurant in the heart of Union Square, which offers handcrafted quality food with fresh local ingredients complemented with a premium boutique all California wine list. Their new American Californian cuisine brings modernity and elevation to heartwarming classic flavors. First Crush also offers several gluten-free and vegan options. That's item 7083, uh, current bid of 140, make it 150, 160, and go to dinner for four people. 160 is only $40 a person for four people in San Francisco. Who could be, what could be better? The next item, 7078, a tour and tasting for 10 with the winemaker, donated by Cooper Garrod, Estate Vineyards in Saratoga, value of $250, no bid on this one yet. Just $100, $10 a person would take you down to Saratoga to see, to get this item. <clears throat> Cooper Garrod is a boutique winery on the eastern slopes of the Santa Cruz Mountains above Saratoga. The wines from the small family winery have won recognition from numerous wine competitions throughout the country. Their wines have been featured in many publications and media, Sunset Magazine, Wine Spectator, Wall Street Journal, San Francisco Chronicle. Treat yourself and your closest friends to an exclusive tour and tasting with Cooper Garrett's winemaker. Taste award-winning estate wines, discover some Silicon Valley history, enjoy the panoramic scenery, and learn how Cooper Garrett makes wine. And that's a look at the Orange Board. Great, Chiffy. Thank you very much. Lots of great items up there, and we are waiting for your phone call. We're going to take a look at the bronze <clears throat> board right now, and this is item number 7171. This is our piano flight in San Francisco. It looks like so much fun. Valued at $480. Current bid on that, $200. Two unlimited memberships. 
Piano Fight is the core offbeat performance hub of downtown San Francisco with a full-service bar and restaurant and two intimate theaters staging all new work by local artists. An eclectic mix of 30 performances per week range from world premiere plays to sketch, stand-up, and improv comedy to modern dance, variety shows, live music, film screenings, game shows, podcasts, and more. Plus, there's usually a live band playing on the cabaret stage before and after shows. With the Piano Fight Unlimited Annual Membership, you can see all the shows you like free of charge through the end of 2017. Each member is entitled to one ticket to any show and discounted access to private events. Gorge on local art and curly fries. And remember, just like food, locally sourced art keeps you healthy. One. That is item number 7171, our piano flight in San Francisco. Two unlimited memberships valued at $480. Current bid on that, $200. And that is going to be great fun. Or we're looking for an opening bid of $200 on that. As we move to the gold board. Right. And uh, a review. Quick review on some Great. of these items. Great. First item on this gold board is 7217, a value of $1,140. We have a current bid of $525. This is Deerfield Ranch Winery in Kedwood. It's an estate tasting for six and six bottles of 1999 DRX Meritage. It's 1999 Meritage. That's worth the whole price in and of itself. <clears throat> Give us a call, bid it up $600. That could be yours. The next item on the gold board, 7071, a value of $2,295 and a current bid of $1,025, donated by the Mauna Kea Beach Hotel on the Kohala, Kohala Coast. It's two nights for two in an ocean-facing room and luau. Great, great opportunity here to get away to Hawaii. And you can look at, at these items on, the, on our website at krcb.org slash auction if you want more detail. <clears throat> And another one of the Elite Island Resorts, uh, item 7076. This is the St. James Club and Villas in Antigua. Seven nights, two rooms. Seven nights, two rooms. Think of all the people you could take along with you. Item 7076, a value of $2,800, a current bid of $1,250. Somebody's getting a bargain. And the last item here on this gold board review is 7209, a value of $2,000. We don't have a bid on this one. We're looking for an opening bid of $1,000, please. This is donated by the Culinary Institute of America at Copia in Napa. It's a private wine tasting experience in the Reserve Tasting Salon for four. <clears throat> a rare wines experience customized to your specific tastes and interests by a CIA, CIA sommelier and chef will leave your party of four begging for more. Held in Copia's private tasting salon, complete with exquisite glassware and small bites, designed specifically for you by Copia's executive chef, Victor Scargill. The wines will be carefully selected from the expansive wine cellars of the Culinary Institute of America. You'll learn, sip, and savor with expert guidance. Want to compare the best Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley to the top chateau in Bordeaux? Yes. Taste a 5, 10, and 20-year-old wine side by side to see how they develop over time. Learn what makes Robert Parker give wine 100 points. Fulfill your wine tasting dreams. A great opportunity here for four people uh, to go to Copia and get this wonderful item. That's item 7209, $1,000 opening bid is all we're asking for that. Great, Shafiq, thank you very much. Lots of great items, wonderful wines, great food, and now some incredible luxury on our platinum board, item number 7140. And this is our scenic luxury cruises and tours, seven night cruise for two, Bordeaux Affair, valued at $11,000. <laughs> The Scenic Diamond, an intimate and cutting-edge scenic spaceship, provides the ultimate in all-inclusive luxury. Visit the beautiful 13th-century port of Libourne and spend the afternoon in saint emilion the jewel of this ancient wine-growing region. Then enjoy a glass of wine at the exclusive estate of Chateau Suriac. The next day, explore the elite Chateau Franc Man, tasting Grand Cru class wine, or view the eclectic city of Bergerac. Soak in the riverside panoramas while cruising to Payoc. You'll travel the scenic Medoc wine route with its many fine chateaux. Dinner is an unforgettable experience with Grand Cru class wines at the charming 18th century Farm Suzanne on the Giscour estate. The following day brings Cadillac with some of the most beautiful scenic cruising in the Bordeaux region. 
Taste wine in the Sauterne region at the prestigious Chateau Giraud or the Grand Cru class estate of Chateau Mirat. Or visit Roquetillade Castle, founded by Charlemagne. On your final evening in Bordeaux, you'll have a special dinner showcasing regional delicacies before an illuminations cruise on the Garonne River. That is item number 7140, or seven night cruise for two, the Bordeaux Affair. Valued $11,000, current bid on that $5,600. Keep your eye on this, that's a fabulous vacation. Doug, what do you have for us on the silver board? Silver board, this one is closing on Sunday and we've got item number 7092, the Parducci Wine Cellars in Ukiah. Two nights for four plus wine of, with a value of $1,270. We're currently at $675 and we're looking for a bid of $725. I would totally bid on this. Uh, next up, we got item number 7112, 1022 from Sacramento, a contemporary four course beer dinner for 10 with a value of $650. Uh, we are currently looking for 320, we got 325, we're looking for a bid of 375. Item number 7115, the friend of KRCB, it's a seven bottle vertical gunlock bunshu vintage reserve with a value of $700. We currently have a bid of $450. We're looking for you to call and bid $500. Item number 7135 is the Boutique Wine Tours of Kenwood, a six-hour luxury wine tour for six with a value of $750. It's up to $375. That's only half the value. So we're looking for you to call and bid $425. And that is our silver board. No, we have one more. Sorry. Item number 7230. It is Motion Vineyards in Healdsburg, two nights for two in the guest suite and more with a value of $650. It's up to $525 now, and we're looking for your call at $575. Great, Doug, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Lots of great items up there. We're gonna move quickly over to the green board. Shafiq, what do we green have board. happening? We have some things going on on the green board, and we will uh, take a look and see what we've got. First item, oh, nothing on this. We need bids on these items, folks. We only have one bid on this board. Okay, so you have to listen to me talk then. If you call in, I'll stop talking. This is item 7181, a case of the Riviera Rosé, $252 value. We're asking for an opening bid of $100. This is a delightful, delightful rosé. Not always a big fan of rosés, but this one is really quite wonderful. It's handcrafted from Grenache grapes sourced in the Alamo Creek Vineyard located in San Luis Obispo County. It's a coral-colored salmon and pink. The wine is bursting with aromas of framboise, watermelon candy, and spice. It's really quite delicious. It has a dry finish, an incredible fruit, fruit plushness, and wild strawberry. It, it tastes sweet on the palate, but has a dry finish, a long, crisp finish. It's really quite wonderful, and it's ready to drink right now. It's great for this time of year, fall. Great thing. Get the case. You'll have it gone by Thanksgiving, I promise you. <clears throat> or buy the case and save it for Thanksgiving. That would be great, too. Next item on the green board. 7233, two season tickets donated by Left Edge Theater in Santa Rosa. It's a pair of season tickets for the 2016-2017 season, a value of $325, asking for a starting bid of $130. <clears throat> this is $20 per show for two people. So $10 per person per show for the starting bid there on this item. Left Edge Theater is now located at the Luther Burbank Center here in Santa Rosa. It endeavors to thrill, challenge, and engage audience with ideas that make us think more, laugh more, and feel more. The 2016-17 season runs from September of 2016 through May 2017 and features these plays, The Big Meal, Zombie Town, Bad Jews, You Got Older, Race, and The Money Shot. <coughs> Six plays, $130, two people, two season tickets, 7233 is the item number. Give us a call, get the bidding started on that one, on that item. The next item on this uh, green board is 7227. This is a great little item, a coffee maker, single service, donated by Cuisinart. It has a value of $149, we're asking for a starting bid of 75. This is a 72 ounce capacity Cuisinart premium single serve brewer. It's a fully programmable home brewing unit. It's compatible with all K cups and equipped with a home barista reusable filter cup. This coffee maker makes it easy for you to enjoy a wide array of hot beverages. <coughs> the unit has five different cup size settings from four to 12 ounces and an adjustable brewing temperature to ensure desired temperatures are reached. 
The hot water button can be used to prepare soup, tea, hot cocoa, and more. And the unit is equipped with a rinse function for easy cleaning. $75, this wonderful little device, and it's a Cuisinart. What more could you ask for? And the last item on this <clears throat> green board is uh, 7059. We have a bit of $120. On this, the value is $269. It's donated by the Twin Pine Casino and Hotel in Middletown. It is a one-night stay with dinner and free play, a value of $269. You stay in a spacious 525-square-foot room deluxe room with modern amenities. You get a $50 gift certificate for dinner at the Manzanita restaurant. That's half of the $125, $120 bid, practically. And you also get two $25 free play coupons to, join, to the Harvest Club. You have to join the Harvest Club membership, but it's free. So you, get, you join the club and you get, the, you get $50 worth of uh, coupons to play. So you could end up having this cost you nothing. Give us a bid of $130, $140. And remember also, when we have multiple bids at this, that come in at the same time, the first person that bids that amount uh, gets it. So you, the bid that you see might not always be yours, so you might want to call in and just raise your bid a little bit. All right, Shafiq, thank you very much. This, we, you're only going to see that board one more time, so keep that in mind as we move forward. Good. We're going to take a look at showcase item number 7229. This is our Wineries of Santa Clara Valley Association Santa Clara Valley Wines and Experiences. Immigrants who settled in the Santa Clara Valley during the 1840s recognized the rich soils and the Mediterranean climate as the perfect New World home for their European grape varietals. Your case of Santa Clara Valley wines includes two 2013 Lion Ranch Vineyards and Winery Vognier, two 2012 Sunlit Oaks Winery Sangiovese, from Martin Ranch, two 2013 wines, a Sangiovese and a Carignan, a 2012 Sartori Oso Zin and 2011 Sartori Merlot of the Violet Flame, from Solus Winery, two 2012 wines, a Petit Verdot and Syrah. From Syrah Vineyards, a 2012 Charbonneau and a 2013 Pinot Noir Estate. Relax in luxury with a two-night stay for two at Gilroy's Best Western Plus Forest Park Inn. You'll enjoy dinner at both Odium Restaurants in Morgan Hill and the Melius Restaurant in Gilroy. Breakfast at Cafe 152 Bread Company. Also included are two tickets for Lumination at Gilroy Gardens. You'll also receive two passports for wineries of Santa Clara Valley Fall Passport Weekend. On Friday, September 30th, you'll taste wine from member wineries and sample food from local restaurants. On the weekend, member wineries host passport holders on property. That is item number 7229, our Santa Clara Valley Wines and Experiences. Fabulous deal, valued at $1,255. Current bid on that is $625. That past per weekend is going to be a great time for someone. Right now we're going to take a look at a review of the Blue Board, right Doug? Blue Board ends tonight and there's some uh, great values on here and starting with item number 7094, Parmesan Wines from Healdsburg. It's a mixed case, so it's signed by the uh, winemaker with a value of $436. It's currently at $350. And you get four bottles of the each of the Chardonnay from Russian River Valley, a Pinot Noir from Sonoma Coast, and Zinfandel from Russian River Valley. All signed. Item number 7219 is Blue Cape Cellars, Santa Barbara County. It's a case of 2012 Pinot Noir with a value of $390. It's got a current bid of $250. This uh, release won a double gold medal from the 2014 San Francisco International Wine Competition and you should bid on it. Next up, number 7066, Campania Ranch Winery in Windsor. It's a tour with a wine and barrel tasting for six with the winemaker. It's got a value of $500 and currently has a bid of 225. You can get this thing if you call in right now. It's ending tonight. Item number 7048 is the Vianza Sonoma. It's a private outlook tasting for four with a value of $300. We are looking for a uh, bid of, it's up to 125, and we need a bid of 150 to keep it rolling. It's a, uh, you will get a uh, wine tasting in one of the winery's private outlooks perched along the hillside and a one-of-a-kind custom outlook. Your group will enjoy a flight of reserve wines served alongside a locally sourced cheese pairing as you take the stunning views. Item number 7117 is Schramsberg and Davies Vineyards in Calistoga. Two signed magnum, magnums with a value of $325. It's up to $400 right now. That's awesome. You can still call and bid. 
Item number 7159 is the Ritz-Carlton Half Moon Bay tasting menu for two with wine pairings with a value of $300. We've got a $296 current bid, but please bid. Give us a call. Back to you. Thank you very much, Doug. Lots of great items up on that board. As we move again, really quickly to um, a review of the some gold board gold items. Board. Thanks, thanks, yep. Okay, this is item seven one nine three, a value of nine hundred and sixty dollars. And somebody knows the value of this. It's a bid of $750 currently on this. It's donated by Varrozzo Vineyards in St. Helena. It's a case of 2010 limited production Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it's a state-grown St. Helena, Napa Valley. Only 250 cases were produced, so you are getting one 250th of the production of this. Um, <clears throat> It is dry farmed and sustainably managed. The Varrozza Vineyard delivers unparalleled concentration and elegance to its fruit and its signature wines. These are old Cabernet Sauvignon vineyards in Napa Valley, so the wines have limited yield, and the wines are by far the most concentrated and balanced of their peers. B which grapes the size of blueberries, thick and tough skins loaded with color and tannin. So they produce absolutely amazing wines. This is so you have a case here of 2010 limited production Cabernet Sauvignon. A bid uh, add $75 to that, and that could be your bid and take this fabulous case home. 7193 is the item. Next item on the gold board here is 7143. Ancient Oak Cellars of Santa Rosa has donated three cases and a tasting and a lunch for two, a value of $1,092. We have a bid of $750. <coughs> Uh, on this. Okay, Ancient Oak Cellars is a family winery with a tasting room in downtown Santa Rosa. Ancient Oak's celebrated winemaker Greg La Follette brings extensive experience and a hands on approach to their wines. You'll receive three cases of wine. There's a case of Ancient Oak Cellars 2013 Russian River Valley Chardonnay, which has a lovely citrus, baked apple, and honey tones, and a rich mouthfeel with a long finish. <coughs> There's a case of the 2011 Russian Rivers Valley Zinfandel, a classic Zinfandel, with complex aromas of ripe plums, blueberries, and white pepper, followed by flavors of cassis, ripe plum, and finishing with hints of exotic spices. It was a gold medal 2014 San Francisco Chronicle Wine Competition winner. And then using grapes from the sustainably farmed family vineyard, the 2011 Alexander Valley Cabernet Sauvignon has classic cab aromas of blackberry, cassis, and brambles, followed by, black, by flavors of black fruits and some earthy characteristics. Included is a tasting of lunch for two at Ancient Oak Cellars and Downtown Deli. So that's three cases of wine, a tasting for two, and lunch for two. <coughs> And we're at, that's where I have a bit of 750, bid 825, support public broadcasting, and have a fabulous cases of, that's, that's just about enough wine for Thanksgiving, don't you think? <clears throat> the next item on the uh, gold board here is 7221, donated by Cardinale Winery in Oakville. A value of $1,500, and somebody really wants this one, $1,200 bid. Thank you, that's a great bid on this. This is a three liter uh, 2012 uh, Cabernet, Cardinale and VIP tasting for four. The 2012 blend of Cardinale, a Napa, Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon, was 84% Cabernet and 16% Merlot. 94% was in French, new French oak barrels. The dense purple color is accompanied by notes of graphite, blackberries, blackcurrants, roasted coffee, vanilla and baking spices, and forest floor. With enormous complexity and richness, as well as a full-bodied power and voluptuousness, it is a wine of exceptional purity, intensity, and well-integrated acidity, alcohol, tannin, and wood. This seamless, majestic Cabernet Sauvignon dominated 2012 and should, be, should drink well for two decades. 98 points, Robert Parker Jr., the wine advocate. Christopher Carpenter is the winemaker. And... You get, in addition to that, an intimate VIP tasting for four people at the winery. So it's a three liter 2012 Cardinale and VIP tasting for four. Uh, somebody's got a very good bid on that one. <coughs> and an even better bid on this one. Item 7145, a value of $1,500. Someone has bid $1,525 on this. Donated by Ravenswood Winery in Sonoma. Very generous sponsors of the auction every year. They are always very generous in what they uh, give to us for this auction. It's a three-bottle, six-liter 
horizontal 20, 2000 Zinfandel. Um, it's one six liter each, one six liter bottle each of the following vineyards, Old Hill Ranch, Bariccia Vineyard, and Bologna Vineyard. At unique Old Hill Ranch Vineyard in Sonoma Valley, no pesticides or irrigation are employed. The scant tonnage combined with ideal growing conditions for the 110 year old vines produce exceptionally intense spicy fruit. Old Hill Zinfandel is dark and rich with provocative flavors of blackberries, mint, and black pepper. Big, deep, generous, complex, and uncompromising. The color of the 2000 Bariccia Zinfandel is a beautiful ruby garnet and has scents are of warm blackberry pie, leather, smoke, chocolate, and anise. It's deliciously dry and complex and a softly round wine whose gentle mouthfeel disguises power and heft. And then due to the long ripening time and penetrating intervals of afternoon sun, the Belloni Zinfandel is deeply colored with an intense odor and the flavor character of boysenberries and blueberries, mingled with traditional spice and smoky characteristics of Zinfandel. So you're gonna have to really bid this one up because somebody really wants this one. So if you, if you put a bid in, it's gonna be a bidding war on this one. Ravenswood, item 7145. Thank you, Shafiq. Nice job. And yes, it's good to see overbids here at the big auction. And we're in the final countdown here. We've got about 20 minutes left. And uh, Charlie Rose will be here at 11 o'clock. He's in the food tent right now, getting ready to go. we got to close the blue board. <laughs> blue board is closed. I hope you were a winner on that one. Doug is here right now with a look at the uh, purple board. Purple board is going to be closing soon, and you can get a screaming deal. Item number 7040 is the 37 uh, wines from Sonoma. It's a solid gold, gold six pack. This would last uh, six days at my house, but your house it might last a little longer. It's got a value of $156, and we have an opening bid of 75. It's up to 85 right now. You can call and make a bid on that. Item number 7204 is from Raft Distillery in Treasure Island. The Dry Gin Absinthe Barbary Coast Rum Agricole with a value of $137. We've got a current bid of $90. These are things you can add to your bar that your people just are not normally going to have. So, I mean, awesome stuff. Uh, item number 7251 is Cost Plus uh, World Market Alameda. It's a mixed case of wine with a value of $200. We are up to $150 on this, so you can still get in on it. Uh, there's a 2010 vintage. It's a Temporillo from Spain and a Napa Valley Reserve Zinfandel. From 2013, a Pinot Noir from Napa and a Parducci True Grit Reserve Chardonnay from Mendocino County. There's also a 2014 wine, the Finca Rizzolo Tempranillo from Spain, the Rickshaw Chardonnay, the Sola Chardonnay from Central Coast, the Schein Heinz Eiffel Riesling from Germany, Con Cannon Chardonnay from Monterey County, and Petite Syrah from San Francisco Bay. And from 2015, Signal Ridge Chardonnay, Anderson Valerie, and Butter Chardonnay by Jam Cellars. Yummy. Item number 7086 is Carvalho Family Tasting in Clarksburg. A private tasting and tour and two bottles of wine with a value of $375. We're looking for a $160 opening bid. You can have this. It is a tour of their winery, private tasting, and bottles of vino. Stan? All right, thank you, Doug. As we look at that uh, purple board, that will be closing in just a few minutes. So if you saw something on that board, take a good look right now. Get your bid in because we're out of here in about 20 minutes. All right, make your bid right now. Bronze board, the item on the bronze board is 7134. This is terrific. This is a mission food and drink uh, tour for four, and it's exploring San Francisco. If you're a foodie, this is for you. The Mission District is a celebration of the culinary arts, a world-class dining destination, one of the capitals of the foodie world. Besides the quality, the diversity of the food is probably the biggest draw to this area's eateries. The locals have come to expect nothing less than outstanding food choices. The Mission offers excellent dining options ranging from high-end establishments to surreal taquerias, from long-standing mom and pops to sidewalk food vendors. Your guide is from the neighborhood and knows the owners and staff of the places you'll visit. You'll visit Holes in the Walls and higher-end restaurants as well. From mom and pops to celebrity chefs to food carts, no two tours are ever the same, and you'll eat until you're full. Mission Food and Drink Tour is held on Friday and Saturday at 3 p.m., allow two and a half hours. 
Drinks are limited to two or three alcoholic beverages. No holidays. Valid until September 18th, 2017. This is a walking tour and no transportation is provided. All right, there you go. Check it out and don't take too long. Give us a call right now because we are gone here in just a few minutes at the big auction and we are closing our purple board, the one that I told you that Doug just gave you. I hope you were a winner on that one. If you uh, just got interested in this, we'll be back tomorrow night with more purple boards and blue boards and everything. Platinum board working right now is 7109 Tambor Bay Vineyards in beautiful Calistoga. A three-night guest house stay with a tour. Check it out. Your beautiful two-bedroom, one-bath, Tuscan-style Tambor Bay guest house is a warm retreat set on the Napa River in Yontville. The main room, with cathedral ceiling and exposed beams, features a wood-burning fireplace, seating area with leather sofa and rocker, and a marble-appointed kitchen and dining area. French doors open from the main living area onto the veranda with a stone wood-burning fireplace, gas barbecue, and just steps to the vineyard. Vaulted ceilings glorify the two double bedrooms, which share an Italian-tiled full bath. You'll visit Tambor Bay Winery at Sundance Ranch in Calistoga, a world-class equestrian facility dedicated to training top performance horses. You'll have a private tour of the winemaking facility and stables, followed by a six-flight tasting of Tambor Bay's premium wines. After your tasting, you'll be treated to a Napa-style lunch, hosted by owners Barry and Jennifer Waite. At the conclusion of your experience, you'll be presented with a six-liter bottle of Tambor Bay Cabernet Sauvignon from the owner's own Du Chavot Vineyard. All right, remember, this will close on Sunday night, so if you're interested, make your bid right now, a value of thirty-one thirty-five. And Shafiq is back right there. Back again. And we've got an orange board. The orange board, last look. It's going to close gonna in close just a few minutes. Soon. So get ready to call and bid on these items. <clears throat> First item on the orange board is this fabulous magnum of Chardonnay donated by Kistler Vineyards in Sebastopol. 7125. Five is the item number. Uh, we have a bid of $245 on it. Somebody wants this. Somebody's going to get it, too, because that's where that bid has been all evening. It's a Sonoma Coast wine with crisp acidity, notes of white currants, apple butter, white peach, and honeysuckle. The full-bodied wine that shows zesty acidity yes. and terrific minerality. Yellow orchard fruit, smoke, orange blossom, and chamomile are some of the many nuances that flesh out the, on, on, to a generous and inviting finish. Fabulous. Magnum of 2014 Trenton Roadhouse Chardonnay from Kistler Vineyards. Next item on the orange board, your last look at this is uh, item 7003, a current bid of $115. It's donated by Platypus Tours Limited in Napa. It's a wine tour for two, a value of $220. <clears throat> you can choose your light hotter tour from Napa Valley, Sonoma Valley, or the Russian River Healdsburg area. Thank You'll you. visit four charming hidden gem wineries and enjoy a picnic lunch at one of them. A cheese platter and water are provided on the bus. Tasting fees and driver, driver gratuity are not included. Saturdays and holiday weekends are excluded also, but otherwise it's a great opportunity to have a really delightful time, you and your best friend. And the next item on the Orange Board, 7083, dinner for up to four, donated by the First Crush Restaurant and Wine Bar in San Francisco. Value of $200, we have a bid of $140 on this. First Crush is a casual upscale fine dining restaurant in the heart of Union Square, offering handcrafted quality food with fresh local ingredients, complemented with a premium boutique all California wine list. Their new American Californian cuisine brings modernity and elevation to heartwarming classic flavors. They also offer several gluten-free and vegan options. Their 200-bottle wine list has received the Wine Spectator Award of Excellence every year since 2001. You bid that up to $150, $160, $160, $40 a person to go to dinner there in San Francisco. Can't beat that. And the last item on the board, you have an opportunity to snap this up. This is your last chance to see this. Item 7078, a bid of $100 is all that we're asking on this. Donated by Cooper Garrett Estates in Saratoga. It's a tour and tasting for 10 with the winemaker, a value of $250. Cooper Garrett is a boutique winery on the eastern slopes of the Santa Cruz Mountains above Saratoga. The wines have all won recognition from numerous wine competitions throughout the country and have been featured in many publications, Sunset Magazine, Wine Spectator, Wall Street Journal, San Francisco Chronicle. You get to treat yourself and your closest friends to an exclusive tour and tasting with Cooper Garrett's winemaker. 
and $100, when there's no bid on that, call up, bid $100, grab that right now, take a wonderful trip down to Saratoga with nine of your friends. And that's your last look at this orange board. It's going to close in just a few minutes. Stan? Thank you, Shafiq. Yeah, he's right. Uh, if you see something there that uh, looks good for you right now, right now, right now is the time to make the bid because we're going to close that in just minutes from right now. Uh, right after I tell you about the bronze board. As a matter of fact, this is Hagoffin Cellars, and this is item 7150. Great place to go for a tour and tasting, and this can be yours. Check it out. Located adjacent to the Stag's Leap and Oak Knoll districts, Hagafen Cellars is the ideal location for the growth and production of ripe, rich, intensely fruity, small lot estate bottled wines. Since 1980, Hagafen's wines have been served on numerous occasions at the White House during state dinners. Owner and winemaker Ernie Weir's daily involvement in both grape growing and winemaking ensures the superb quality of the wines. During your tour and tasting at the winery, you can choose to taste wine from any of Ernie Weir's three labels, Hagafen, Pre, or Don Ernesto. You'll leave with a case of Hagafen Cellars 2012 Napa Valley Cabernet Franc. The fleshy, supple nose of this exquisite wine wows you with violets, red currants, and rose. The mouth bursts with flavors of the deep forest glen, rich earth, deep dark black cherries, and rose hips. This is a CCOF certified organically grown vineyard source. A case of wine can be shipped at your expense. Vintage and or varietals are subject to change. Tours are held in the morning only, Sunday through Friday. Holidays excluded. Valid until September 18th, 2017. All right, check it out, the bronze board. Give us a call right now. Make us an offer. It could be yours. All right, is it time? Is it time? Yes, it's time. The orange board is gone for tonight, but there'll be another one tomorrow night and Sunday night, so stick around. Uh, don't you leave us. All right, we've got a showcase board right now, and this is the Santa Cruz Mountain Wine Growers, and uh, this is a great way to welcome yourself if you've never been visiting up in the Santa Cruz area. This is the way to do it. Check it out. With mountainous terrain, marine and valley influences, varied microclimates, and diverse soils, the Santa Cruz Mountains wine region offers the ideal place to grow high-quality grapes and produce distinct terroir-driven wines. You'll receive a case of Santa Cruz Mountains wines, including three 2012 House Family Vineyards Chardonnay, 2013 Windy Oaks Pinot Noir Estate Cuvée Schultz Family Vineyard, 2012 Burrell School Cabernet Franc Estate, Pichon Vineyards, Extra Credit, and 2012 Cabernet Sauvignon Lucchese Vineyards, Dean's List. Three Kings Mountains Vineyards, Bacchus Pinot Noir Estate Grown. Three Silver Mountain Vineyards, Pinot Noir, Miller Hill Vineyard. Two Santa Cruz Mountains passports are included. On the third Saturday of January, April, July, and November, passport holders can visit participating wineries throughout the region with an opportunity to meet the legendary winemakers of the Santa Cruz Mountains. You'll have a two-night stay for two at the newly renovated Chaminade Resort and Spa, a spectacular mountaintop retreat with sweeping views of the Monterey Bay and the Santa Cruz Mountains. Enjoy color palettes inspired by the California coast, contemporary Spanish furnishings, and world-class amenities. Enjoy dinner at Santa Cruz's Assembly Restaurant, offering rustic California cuisine based on local, seasonal, and sustainably sourced ingredients. And that'll close on uh, Sunday. That's the Santa Cruz Mountains Wine Growers. So if you see that and uh, you want to uh, make us a nice offer there, uh, it's a value of $16.59. You want to be stealing it like $8.25. Give us some money. We need the money. We need the money. That's why we're here. That's why we do this auction. Uh, we have a bronze uh, item on the board right now. This is a bronze piano flight. Two unlimited memberships now. This is item number 71, 71 with a value of uh, 480. Make it yours. Piano Fight is the core offbeat performance hub of downtown San Francisco with a full service bar and restaurant and two intimate theaters staging all new work by local artists. An eclectic mix of 30 performances per week range from world premiere plays to sketch, stand-up, and improv comedy to modern dance, variety shows, live music, film screenings, game shows, podcasts, and more. Plus, there's usually a live band playing on the cabaret stage before and after shows. With the Piano Fight Unlimited Annual Membership, you can see all the shows you like free of charge through the end of 2017. Each member is entitled to one ticket to any show and discounted access to private events. 
Gorge on local art and curly fries. And remember, just like food, locally sourced art keeps you healthy. That's the bronze board, and uh, that's gone as of tomorrow, as of Sunday. So uh, make sure you get your bid in there and make it nice and big, nice and strong, and support public television here in the North yeah. Bay. That's All right. right. Shafiq is back. Back again. Like what a color bad, is like our board? It's green. 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 <laughs> we went from the bronze bad penny to green board. <clears throat> First item on this is so someone has bid on this great. This is a lovely wine, a case of Riviera Rosé, valued at $252. Yeah, we have a $100 bid on this. It's item 7181. This is a, a lovely rosé. Wine is crafted from Grenache grapes sourced from the Alamo Creek Vineyard, located in San Luis Obispo County. The color, it's got a gorgeous color. It's coral, salmon, and pink. And the wine is bursting with aromas of framboise, watermelon, candy, and spice. <clears throat> and it has a very dry finish with a lot of plush fruit flavor on the palate. There's a sweetness to the palate, but a very nice, long, crisp finish. <clears throat> Uh, only 800 produ produce cases were produced. It's great to drink right now. It would be great for Thanksgiving dinner, too. A lovely wine for dinner there. Of course, you might want to try a bottle before you get there, but you know, then you'd have 11 bottles for, for them. Oh, there's one of our, one of our uh, phone volunteers here. <laughs> <laughs> Next item on this uh, green board is 7233. Uh, somebody gets to snap this up. It's the Left Edge Theater here in Santa Rosa. Uh, we have two season tickets for the 2016-2017 th season. Uh, it is a value of $324. We're asking for an opening bid of $130. And is, are we closing this board tonight? Or is, uh, I think maybe. Uh, so opportunity, yes. yes, closing it tonight. So there's an opportunity to snap this up in a few minutes, as a matter of fact, he says. But nobody's bid on it, so you have to listen to me talk about it. I warned you. <clears throat> Um, Left Edge Theater, now located at the Luther Burbank Center here in Santa Rosa, endeavors to thrill, challenge, and engage audiences with ideas that make us think more, laugh more, and feel more. The 2016-2017 season runs from September of 2016 through May of 2017 and features these plays. It features The Big Meal, an extraordinary story about an ordinary family, Zombie Town, a comedic mockumentary, Bad Jews, a vicious and hilarious brawl over family, faith, and legacy. I can't believe that would happen. You Got Older, a tender and darkly comic new play about family, illness, and cowboys. Race, David Mamet's provocative new tale of sex, guilt, and bold accusations. And The Money Shot, a hilarious and insightful comedy about ambition, art, status, and, of course, sex. Give us a call, bid on item 7233, $130, two season tickets to the Left Edge Theater here in Santa Rosa. <clears throat> and the last item here on this, uh, oh, no, I haven't gotten that far yet. I'm ahead of myself. It's item 7227, uh, nice bid of $95 on this. It's a coffee maker, single surface, donated by Cuisinart. Very thankful to them for this lovely 72 ounce capacity Cuisinart premium single serve brewer is fully programmable home brewing unit. It's compatible with all K cups and equipped with a home barista reusable filter cup. This coffee maker makes it easy for you to enjoy a wide array of hot beverages. It has five different cup settings from 4 to 12 ounces, an adjustable brewing temperature to ensure perfect temperature, and the hot water button can be used to prepare soup, tea, hot cocoa, and more. The unit is equipped with a rinse function for easy cleaning. What more could you ask for? A bit of uh, $105 or $115 would make that yours and support public broadcasting. And the last item here on the green board, 7059, a current bid of $190. Thank you for that. It's a one-night stay with dinner and free play uh, for two, donated by the Twin Pine Casino and Hotel in Middletown. And the Twin Pine Casino Hotel offers the latest and most exciting slots and a variety of gaming tables with 25,000 square feet of gaming space. Your stay is in a 525 square foot deluxe room with modern amenities. You get a $50 gift certificate for dinner at the Monsignor restaurant, which is half of the value of the bid, and it includes two $25 free play coupons to the Harvest Club. Harvest Club membership is required, but it's free to, for the free play coupons. So there's, there's a look at that green board. We need a bid on those two season tickets for the Left Edge Theater here in Santa Rosa, and that will be a perfect board. All right. Thank you, Shafiq. You'll be back in just a little bit uh, to uh, close out the, uh, to talk about the platinum board. And we're closing out our bronze board. 
I hope you had a winning bid on the bronze board. If not, there'll be another one for you tomorrow night right here at KRCB. All right, we've closed that. Now let's see, we've got a showcase board to do. Oh, there's Justine. I really wanted to thank Justine for being here tonight. Uh, she has uh, done a great job on the phones. Uh, if you were lucky enough to call in, you got a chance to talk to Justine. <laughs> She's beautiful. Uh, Canine Companions. Showcase, yes, Appalachian St. Helena. And this is item number 7240, a value of 1725. Make your bid. This is going to be here until Sunday night. Check it out. St. Helena has the distinction of being the birthplace of the Napa Valley wine industry. Your case of Appalachian St. Helena wines includes 2011 St. Helena Winery Estate Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon from the 2012 vintage are Corley Ewell Vineyard, Behringer Single Vineyard, Home Vineyard, Young Inglewood Estate Cabernet, 2012 and 2013 Engel Family Vineyards Rock Mountain Vineyard, also from the 2013 vintage Alpha Omega Cabernet Sauvignon Beckstoffer, Las Piedras, Stanton Vineyards Petit Syrah, Crocker Star Casali 6th Edition, 69% Malbec, 25% Cabernet Franc, Spotswood Estate Grown Cabernet Sauvignon, Chase Hain Vineyard Zinfandel, Levinson Cabernet Sauvignon, an exclusive small lot release. Also included are tastings at these wineries. Experience a private tour and tasting at Alpha Omega Winery. The beauty of this modern farm style winery is as captivating as its wine. Ehlers Estate Vineyards are certified organic and cultivated using biodynamic farming techniques producing exceptional wines. You'll have a private guided tour through Hall's Winery Grounds, taste current releases, and discover their state-of-the-art winemaking facility. Cliff Family Winery offers a bruschetta and wine tasting trio paired with their limited production wines. And at Benesseri Vineyards, you and a guest will enjoy a selection of their fine Italian varietals with cheeses. Included is a bottle of Sangiovese. All right, there's your showcase board, item 7240. Go check it out online. If you missed anything, we're closing the green board right now. There I you hope go. you had a winning bid on that one. All right, now we've only got less than a minute to go. So one minute quickly, to go, so uh, fly Shafiq? through the gold board here. Yes. LB Steak, Santana Row in San Jose. Chef's dinner for eight with wine pairings. Item 7213, a value of $1,200. We have a bid of 675. Next item on the gold board is the Brown Estate St. Helena California Wine Club membership item 7235 $1500 value a bit of 775 and the last item here on the gold board is Cardella Winery in Mendota California dinner and wine tasting for 10 and one case of premium Cardella wine 7241 $2300 value $1050 we're all looking for a bid on that one give us a call bid on that now all right, we got 10 seconds to say thank you and good night to everybody. Canine Companions, beautiful Justine, Fast Signs of Santa Rosa and Petaluma, Flavor Bistro, Cabot Cheese, North Bay Leadership Council, and thanks to all of our volunteers and all of our bidders. And we'll see you tomorrow night right here at the Big Auction. Thank you. season. It won't be easy, I grant you, but I believe this is your moment to make a dent in history. This is your chance, my darling. Take it, take it, take it.